Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to start a new game. Uh, recommended for new players, story mode or custom game. Start your journey as an entrepreneur. Easy, normal, hard. Right, let's just go straight to normal, shall we? With help from Uncle Fred, recommended for your first playthrough, guns, objectives, unlocks, achievements. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Character customization. Here we go. Uh, Speedy, thank you for 69. Still working towards the 100 months. Getting there one month at a time. Hope you're all well. Yeah, doing fine. Thank you very much. And Hashmith, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Right, what are we doing here? Her legs. I mean, she's got very thin ankles. Her legs are really beefy. They're also very angular. That's not a lot of difference. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference going. <laughs> a bit more muscle. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, I probably you probably could do with a bit, a bit more buff than that. He's a tech entrepreneur. He's like probably a bit overweight. Let's make him very overweight. I like that. Hang on, we've got random. Oh, random name. They're very odd colors, aren't they? It's a very unnatural color. What's this face? We've got two faces. <laughs> okay. What's that do? Oh, that, oh I see. That's the face. That's the haircut. <laughs> this is amazing. <coughs> you bought D-Row Valley five days ago. You've already got 20 hours in the game. That's four hours a day. That's not good enough. You should be on more than that by now. Best entrepreneur. Oh, no. A suit and combat. I like that. A suit and combat trousers. What about a suit and shorts? That way he can appeal. He can sit at a table and look formal, but walk into a meeting and look casual. Smart casual. The definition. Right there. And some posh shoes. <laughs> I kind of like that look. Oh my God. Right. What name are we going to give this guy? Kenneth, Derek, does it look like a Derek, a Donny, a Herbert, Cecil, oh no, no sandal option though, no. Richard Bryson, Josh, he does look a bit like a Josh, Cliff Clifton, that's a good name, NSR, thank you for 47 months. I'm not calling him Jeff. Stephen Butler. What a ridiculous name. Edward Castagna. Ooh, I like that second name. Castagna. Kevin Pardo. Is he a Kevin? Jimmy. Jimmy, your cash. How about, I'm not calling him not Jeff. That's not so bad. Oh, Jimmy, you cash. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll go with that. Let's just start the game. See what it's about. Jimmy, your cash was born. It's been three months since Grandma died. I know that I'm an adult now, and I'm 18 years old. Really? But still, it feels so scary that no one has taken the stuff to take care of. There's one good thing, though. At the funeral, my Uncle Fred asked me for my phone number. Oh, yeah. 
He said he wanted to help me to get on my feet. I don't really know him, but I guess he's family after all. Sure, you can trust Uncle Fred. Bald 18. He shaved it, obviously. Hey, kiddo. Hang got this options. I'm going to frame limit this, because, uh... Max. And also, OBS is doing some weird things. OBS is struggling with the frames for some reason, and I can't work out why. If we sink it down to... Uh, I don't know. Do that. See what it thinks. Ah, it's okay with that. It likes that. That's fine. Uh, WH Trans, thank you for 64 months. It looks like Andrew rip, rip you off to me. Right, let's see. Hope you're feeling better. Anyway, I talked with a friend of mine, Richard. He owns a bunch of buildings in Hell's Kitchen. And he's kind of a big shot. Well, the bottom line is uh, he has a cheap apartment that uh, you could probably afford. It's not much. But it'll do. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, where do I need to sit in all this? Move myself over a little bit. Uh, I probably need to go there for a kickoff. That chat probably needs to go down there, I would suggest. Um, you'll ha you'll have to let me know, guys, as we're playing, if any of these things are getting in the way. Oh God, what did I just do? I just I just did a thing. I have no idea what I just did. Job board. Wait, he's supposed to be a business tycoon. Why is he getting in? Why is he getting a job? Why would he get a job if he's a business tycoon? How much money does he have? Ten thousand dollars. I'm not. I'm not working for twenty-five dollars. I got ten k in the bank. What do you mean I have no money? It says I've got ten grand. Travel to and rent. Third Street forty-five. I don't even know where that is. Why? Why is he tooting me? <laughs> I'm, on a, I'm on a pedestrian crossing. Go away. Can you not zoom in anymore? Why you've got this weird... Ooh, discount market. Wait, what are you discounting? Frozen food, $6. Is that discount? Fresh food, $8. Can I buy his food and sell it outside more expensive? That would be good. Zeus flowers. Well, how much is your butt on sale for, Club Villain? What's the discount? Click here for options. Available to rent. Wants me to rent and then sleep until full energy. Available for rent. This building is zoned for residential use only. Deposit $1,300. Electrical appliances. Daily rent, 44 Ouch. This building is not for sale. Average condition, market value. Wait, what? $26 million. No way would you ever rent a $26 million Apartments out for forty-four dollars a day. I am sorry, but no. Rent building. Okay. Uh, sleep until energy's full. Where's my energy bar? This is my energy bar. Left click to enter. I'm a bit freaked out by this weird camera. Can you not change this camera angle in any way? Oh, this is. Oh, I see. 
So the $90 they charged me was for a bed, basically. Uh, start sleeping. Sleep for... I don't know how long we need. Eight hours? Is that long enough? That's long enough. Okay. And... Um... I also transferred a couple of bucks to your bank account because uh, I want to make sure you get something to eat, okay? Promise me. Yeah, I'll get something to eat. You're working for others because you need to get money in for renting a retail space and furnishing it, getting the initial stock in. Yeah, this is a $26 million apartment. Buy a standard fridge from the local appliance store. Place the fridge in your apartment. Go to the supermarket, buy at least three units of fresh food, stock up the fridge, eat some food. All right, let's go. I can't use the keyboard. I'm a bit weirded out by this. I have to click everywhere. The whole block is 20, 26 miles. What, a single block? Are those lights on red or green? I can't even tell. Oh, hang on. Needs to be over here. There we go. Wait. It's currently closed. You can sleep on the benches. Wait, what time is it? 8.35. Opens at 9. Is it really? I saw you spawn. Can I talk to this guy? No, apparently not. All right, it's nine o'clock now. Uh, shop entrance. What do you want? A fridge? Standard fridge. There we go. Eighteen hundred dollars. Dude, can we get a smaller one? Eighteen hundred. Drinks fridge. Well, that's not good, is it? An industrial fridge. Wait, seriously? Surely... <laughs> Why is this... Guys, can I get a cheaper fridge anywhere? Because that's... We don't need to spend eighteen hundred on a fridge. There's only us living in the apartment. Be cheaper to get taken every day. You're not kidding. What's in here? Can we cut the wall away so I can actually see what's going on? Store manager. Office chair. A what now? Oh, you mean a sack barrow? A hand truck? Why do you need a truck for your hands? You can use WSD to go to the option turn on control mode. Okay, hang on. Options, controls. Control mode, point and click mouse. Keyboard control or controller, experimental. It's still in development. That's better. Move WSD, that's better. Let's try that. Oh, yeah, there we go. God for that. Why does it want me to do that with my hand? Okay, we've, we've picked up a fridge. <laughs> Look at the size of this. I can't believe how, my, how they've broken it down into small pieces. Can we just leave with it? What happens if you leave with it? Yeah, I've paid for it. Get a lot of business here, don't they? Place order. Wait, what? There we go. We're now the proud owner of a fridge. People around there are just trying to kill you all the time. 
They don't even deliver. Like, you literally have to carry the fridge. What's that? Why is that green? Discount market. You literally have to carry it and install it yourself for eighteen hundred dollars. Right, where are we gonna have us our That looks like I can't work out if that's tile, does that mean a wet room or does that mean a kitchen or you know what I mean? I don't know. I think I prefer that's my bathroom later. Although that's small enough. I don't know. We'll have this as a kitchen. Right, how do we put it down? Peter place. No, I want to rotate it. How do I rotate it? What's the key to rotate? T, no, Q, E, no, A, S, D, no. Z, X, C, B, F, no. Rotate Q and E. No, that's the camera. How do you turn the item? Ah, there we go. Okay, right. Put the fridge. Ah. Now I've got to go to the food market. El Gato Food Market. You can buy a stream deck here. Right, what do we need to buy? Buy at least three units of fresh food. Do we need a basket? Let's get a basket. There we go. Right, fresh food, $8. Frozen food, $6. Yeah, we can't do frozen yet. I'll have one of them. What's that one? One of them. Have they got a meal deal? We'll take a meal deal. One of them. One of them. I'm just going to buy enough food for the week. Like, I'm not coming here every three days. There we go. Week's worth of stuff. Suck up the food, eat some food. Okay, so we've got energy bar, hunger bar, happiness bar, is that? How much money, current day, time. Not sure they are. What's that one do? Why do I feel like I've gone the wrong way? This guy just running down the road with a bag of food. <laughs> down here somewhere people get despawning in front of me it's kind of weird slip through that hey we made it right consume consume fresh food there we go I sounded like we bought some crisps. Hey, kid. I've gone ahead and paid your first rent, but that's it, okay? You need to get out there and get a job. Anything at all. You just need a salary right now. Get a job at the local supermarket. Continue working until you've earned $300 from your job. Oh, that sounds like a lot of effort. Kelly, thank you for 93 months. Uh, Kane Jones, thank you for three months. Danish Dad, Merry Christmas to you, 20 months. You'll set pups off if you're not careful. Marbobs, thank you for 18, two Twitch babies. 
Looking forward to you costing me more money. Lol. Fireman John, thank you, 29. Alright, so we're going here. There's a job board there. Uh, $25 per hour. We need to get three. That's at least like 12 hours work. Okay. Cashier, set destination. Open in Bizman. There are no shifts assigned for today. Okay, I've got the day off today. So let's come back tomorrow. So what do we do for the rest of the day? Can we rob places? Let's have a sniff around. Lucas Pizza. Neighborhood Hell's Kitchen. Is that where we are? Wine is cigars. Whoa, luxury items. I think we should get into buying and selling cigars. Jewelry, that's where the real money is. You can't do low class crimes. I can't pass the lot. It won't let me interact with anybody. Roasted ink. Coffee shop. Oh, wow. It's like a coster, isn't it? A croissant for $3.40. I get a meal for $8. That sounds about right, actually. Can I just come this side and start serving people? Take the money and then leave. Cash register. Oh, I, thought, I can't take money. I got busy. Got busy real fast. Zang's fruit and veg, just jeans. Classic expensive female clothing. $122. Blimey. I wonder if you can get outfits. I'd like to get like a comedy clown outfit for him. And these diamonds, this is where it's at. Oh, it's closed. No, it's the fruit and veg. Wait a sec. Where's the diamond shop gone? Wait, you just... Oh, was that an advert? Dang it. We need to get into the diamond trade. I'm telling you. We can sell them fake diamonds. I better send him home on and go to sleep or something. Yeah, but there's bound to be a jeweler's round. Somewhere. What is this place? It's like a European style cafe. Outside on the plaza. You see, one day, one day this statue will be replaced by us. Now, suit top and shorts. I think I'm in the wrong block. <laughs> so this, hang on, if you press shift he walks, if you don't press shift he runs, there's a map on your phone. So there is. Can you just click? It's 
towards that destination. Whoa, he's trying to kill me? My employee's persona. Okay. Contacts. Uncle Fred. They have no employees yet. Bizman. Econoview. It's not looking good. There's a lot of red going on right now. Market Insider. What's all this about? There's no fake diamonds. I'm disappointed. So the district is saying this is mostly working class people. So there's no point selling jewellery around here anyway. Demand, import price. Cheap gifts. This is what you want. Import price index. I don't know what that means. That's the wrong district. I think we're in Hell's Kitchen, aren't we? I think we're here. 82% middle class. our apartment Whew. all right what's what time are we at work 8 a.m it's currently 9 36 okay i take it we've got to walk down to work so we'll get up like an hour before oh we're living garment do we okay right set destination I thought there'd be a little sat nav rooting on the ground. Like Google Maps. Crazy drivers, I tell you. You got good brakes, though. We start at 8 a.m. Start working. Your shift hasn't started. So we just stand around till 8 a.m. and then start work. I do need to get a car for me. You're right. I reckon if we go and work at this counter here, this is the quieter one. Because most people will go there and we'll get nothing to do here. Fast forward time. Skip time. See, my plan worked. Oh. Most of the traffic goes here, so if you want a quiet life, you work here. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Did we get paid? We're extremely hungry. And extremely tired. Is there no hotkey to just say set destination home? Residential buildings for rents. I get used to where everything is. Hi! Not a. The last one, Barry. Just take me back to the last home. Uh, Neil Re Neon Racer, thank you for 16 months. Henry, thanks for 84. Cold Amos, 67. Harm, thank you for 85. And Kian, thanks for 43. Is this our place? We better eat something. Consume food. Go to bed. So we just got to rinse this now for some cash, haven't we? 
At least we made a profit. Well, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else to do right now apart from sleep and work. Because we're kind of in tutorial mode, I think. And maybe there is something we can do. Hang on, there's, there's something not right here. Aha. Are we in the wrong place? the right place. So why can't we start work then? I was expecting that little blue circle. Job. Well done. You're a chip off the old block. Just like your dad. I think he was probably just about your age when he started his first business. Look, if you need a loan to start something, I got a friend over at uh, Jensen Capital. His name is Larry, okay? That's who you ask for. And be sure to say hi from me, your Uncle Fred, okay? Take out a loan for $15,000. Find and rent a retail building of maximum 75 square meters in the garment district. Start a gift shop. Quit your job. <laughs> well, I was actually heading back to get some food because my carrots are completely starving. And we have a day off tomorrow anyway, so... Uh, where do we live? That one? Tomorrow's the day off, so we've got the bank on our day off. Thank you for 69 months, Nerdy Drew. Pirate Pete, thank you for seven. Right then, set destination. No, we don't want to do that. We want to go to Jensen Capital, which is this way. Take out a 15 grand loan. We can always get a snack somewhere if we need to. Get a get an eight dollar croissant. Right, who are we asking for? There he is. Is this the man? What do we need to interact with? New loan, new investment. Well, technically it's an investment. Right. $15,000. What can you do me for? Daily interest. 20% a day? Are you actually having a laugh? 20%? That can't be right. $9? That's not right. Sugar Glider Dude, thank you for four months. But no, but that doesn't even... Daily payment, 62. Total daily payment, 71. That's, that's not... Yeah, that's... I think that must be annualised or something. Right, 15 grand. We can definitely help you with that. I'll have the full amount transferred to your bank right away. Thank you for doing business with us. There we go. Find a rent. Okay, so we want the garment district. Let's bring up our maps here. Garment district. Where's the garment district? Um, that's the garment district is here. A maximum 75 square meters. Now, where's all the footfall? That's what we've got to ask ourselves. Where's the footfall? What are we selling? Gifts? 
Sure you want to be near a tourism spot then. Is that our house? Gift shop. Oh dear. There's plenty of gift shops, but there's none in the garment district. Only some places are available. What do you mean? Find and rent a retail building. So how do we tick retail? There we go. Retail, that's better. Right, so we've actually got a place next door to where we live, which is kind of convenient. <laughs> I was completely broke two days ago, but I just got a supermarket and worked two days. Can I have 15k loan? Yeah, I've got a job, stable work. I've been there two days, can I have a 50 grand loan. Bye. So we've got that one for 75 square meters, privately owned. 15 cars. What does that mean? 15 cars. 15 people. Is that the traffic? 15, 15. 45 and 30, but that's too big. 40 and 15. Okay, so that, that's the footfall. So we want to max out our footfall, but no more. It's 15 and 75 square meters. I don't think we can get more than 15 for the size that we're limited to. We've got 23 cars and 15. That's probably the best one. Because it's close by. That's more cars, if that's a good thing. Because all these other ones are too big. 15, 40. I suppose that's the best one, technically. 15 and 40. That's too big. All right, we'll go with that one. Open in Bisman, set destination. Do we need to go there, or...? $24 daily rent. Customer capacity 15. Oh, that's the capacity. Hmm. That's not necessarily footfall. That's the number of people that you can get inside the building. More cars means more people could visit the business. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Wolf. So I think that's the best one. Right, we'll go we'll head down there and see if we can rent it. Pitts, thank you for 79. Greetings. Heyman, thank you for 78. Sugar Lada Dude, thank you for gifting a sub to Philip. Welcome back, Philip. You don't have to run there. What what can you do? Can you teleport? Right, is this it? Red building. Start a new business or terminate contract. Start a gift shop. Okay, right. Gift shop. Zero competitors in the neighborhood. That's what we like. There are no gift shops here or jewelry stores. I told you, jewelry's where it's at. <laughs> That's our next step. Fake jewelry. Right. Gift shop, name your business. Um, how about all the tat? Discount tat? Um, what are you nutty gifts? That sounds way too pleasant. It's got to sound cheap and nasty. Uh, cheap tat? How about that? Cheap tat. <laughs> Start business. 
temporarily closed. Requires a, a product, a cash register or checkout counter. Stack of shopping baskets. Okay, so we've got to get some product. Devotion indicates how many customers your business attracts. Okay. Trafficking gets 40%. Marketing, zero. All right, so basically the amount of traffic going past is bringing people in. Cleanliness? Uh, customer capacity, building limit 15, current capacity per hour, zero. Insight, inventory and pricing, schedule. We're open from eight till four. Can we not just be 24 hours? I mean, the longer we're open, the more money we make, surely. Deliveries, marketing, settings. Ooh. You can change your logo. Can you have more than one? Is there no dustbin? Logo color. You can upload images. <laughs> Imagine just uploading your own image. Brilliant. Font color. There you go. Can you make the font bigger? Oh, you can have a custom color. Fonts. There we go. I go. We should go for the. How do you make the font bigger? That's too small. I really want the font to be bigger. I was hoping to say cheap tat in a very fancy writing. I can't move this either, can I? Okay, that'll do. That'll do for now. Confirm change. Oh, hang on. Save logo changes. There we go. Cheap tat. Right then. Quit your job at the local supermarket. Quick job. So, you're a gift shop owner now, huh? Yeah, very good. Very good. Now we've got some shopping to do. We'll get you some furniture and uh, some really nice products to sell in there. And uh, I also wanted to mention I uh, recently invested in a car dealership and we found kind of an old wreck of a car in the workshop in the back, but it still runs. It's not much. But it's yours if you want it. We got a car. in the glove compartment. Where's the car? Uncle Fred's car. The game is actually going to let me drive. Flea Bob, thank you for five months. Dark CC, thank you for five months. Sorry, uh, 16 months. Josh Bosch, thank you for 75. Thank you, sir. Jeffrey. Thanks for 64. Manage storage. A Honza Mimic. I love it. Uh, no. No. Radio volume. I'd love to have it, but I know where that's going to go. Ah, you found the car. Good. Now, don't get any parking tickets. As I said earlier, it's time to pick up some stuff for your new store. You're going to use your new car. Or continue running around with the hand trucks. It's up to you. I like that, Fear My Teddy. Should have called it Tats It. Although, if you say that too quickly. Sell backspace park vehicle. Where are we going? I've got to do a U-turn, haven't I? think square appliances how about tats all folks that would have been a great name all the eye racing practice coming in handy oh no 
the rest is an ambulance. Oversteer. <laughs> Gone past. Oh, you idiot. Crazy man. Wait, where are we going? We're going here, aren't we? We'll just park here. That looks fine. Right, into the appliance shop. Oh, you have to get your car repaired? Uh oh, nobody told me that. Right, what are we after? Are we on, say, uh, a cash register, a cabinet. What's that? A rounded shelf. It's a rounded shelf. Uh, cabinet. Cabinet with drawers? Is that the same thing? A cabinet? A cabinet with drawers? I don't know. Oh, do I need to get a handcart so I can carry that many items? A hand truck. Oh no, this is not good. So we have a cash register. We need a cabinet, which I'll assume is the cabinet with drawers. You want a stack of shopping baskets. And a rounded shelf. <laughs> this is impossible to control. A rounded shelf. There we go. Okay. Let's go and check out. Cash register, a cabinet with drawers, stack of shelf baskets, and a rounded shelf. Place order. And truck. Park the vehicle. <laughs> Coming through. Manage storage. And truck. Oh, it's transferred it, I think. Yeah. We just leave that here. There we go. I think we're good. You may want to get an extra shelf soon so you can stock expensive gifts. Want to make some money first? Also, we're starving. We need to eat. This is our home. Let me just quickly pull in. Is that good there? Illegal. I want to get some cones, and then we can put cones down in front of our... Uh, in front of our house, so we can always park here. Grab a quick snack. Okay, good to go. What do you think I'm trying to do? Oh, you numpty. Go on. Off you go. Oh my god. I just want to park. Seriously. What am I supposed to do? Drive in forward or something? Park vehicle. 
Right, manage storage. Okay, let's get the hand truck out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, this is ours, isn't it? Cheap tat. Should, should we change the name of it? Tat's all, folks. I like that. Yeah, tat's all, folks. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. We want the rounded shelf. Add item. What's this doing? Place the cabinet and the cash register on top on top in your store place the stack of shopping baskets in your store place the rounded shelf in your store okay i'm gonna put this right at the back so they have to walk right to the back of the shop what's that undefined contents cheap gift i don't know business had no points of sale but at least a couple of cheap is out of cheap gifts. What should we sell? Expensive gifts. A cheap gift, I guess. Let's do that. Uh, we want to put the shopping baskets down here. So we want them as you come in. Like that, maybe. Cabinets with drawers. This is where... Is this where they pay, basically? Which way do we want that facing? Maybe like that? I don't have no idea. Manage storage. Put the cash register in... Um... Cash register, paper bag. What's this? Oh, very, very nice. Starting to look like a real store now. Next, we have to buy some things for you to sell. And for the time being, you have to go to a wholesale store. But eventually, down the road, you'll do a whole lot better by importing directly from the manufacturer overseas. Interesting. Importing from the manufacturer overseas. They'll cut out the middleman. I like it. There is where the employee stands. Cool. So we need to get some paper bags as well. Um, manage storage. No, I don't just pick that up. Park vehicle. No. Uh, buy a box of cheap gifts and a box of paper bags from the local wholesale store. Tip. Hold alt to show all labels. Ooh. I like how we get to keep this. Or do we? Wait, can I not? How do I put this back in there? I don't think I can. Yeah, that's the first time I've played it. I'm not sure if I can put that back in the Honda. Honza. Yeah, I don't know, Ron. Right, how do I find where the wholesaler is and what time they're closed? Is that the warehouse or is that something else? You can go to the side of your car, press X to store. There you go. Side of the car, X. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. We'll just leave it there. Oh, that did it. Yeah, clicking on the back there. Right, what time does Metro Wholesale close? Because it is pretty late. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Are they open 24 hours? Wait, 
the other one. Uh, money storage, got a hand truck out. Open in seven hours. I knew it! It's not open. Can we sleep? We can sleep on a bench, can't we? Let's stick that in the back. We stay here. Four hours. Oh, you sleep in the car. Total profit minus 82. Are you open. Open in three hours. Sleep. There we go. No. All right, seven a.m. Let's go. says 50 classic cheap male clothing 50 frozen food how can this be frozen food just on the shelf how does that work salad burgers am i in the wrong place what's in here cheap gifts soda cans paper bags there we go right thousand dollars for 200 cheap gifts box of cheap gifts and a box of paper bags stock up the cash register with paper bags all right that's all we need in it that'll do Turn right, red, it's fine. Straight through and red's okay as well, isn't it? I think. Whoa, slow down. Click on it to put stuff away, but you don't click on hand truck. Uh, uh, let's go. Gonna be open for business shortly. Right, 200 cheap gifts. Gonna place. No, we're not gonna place. Don't know how this works. No. It's stocked up somehow, automatically. I'm not really sure how that worked, but it worked. Great work, kiddo. Now it's time to open up and start handling some cash, making some money. I'm crossing my fingers. We're not even open yet. Who's going to work here? Temporarily closed. Interior designer. Hey, we're open. Start working at the cash register. Start working. Here we go. Now we wait. <laughs> he's going to have to take lunch soon, though. He's getting pretty hungry. What do you mean I'm still closed? How can I be closed? I just opened it. I'm not closed. See? I am not closed. It says I'm closed, but I'm not cl I don't get this. What do I need to do? Is it because it's not 8 a.m. maybe? What's the schedule? What time do we officially open? Business is closed this day. Click to open. 
There we go. We're up, we're opening eight till five with one hour for lunch. Cash register. Why's this got a schedule? What do you mean not open on weekends? We work seven days. I don't care if it's Saturday. Can we open Sunday as well? We're open seven days till we're making a profit. Thank you for 97, Zarek. Fox Mulder, thanks for 52. Dub AUT6, thank you for 83. Lentil Stew with 72. Happy anniversary. Focus DTEC 34, Olicast 47. Glad to see you have big ambitions to be a retail giant. What do you plan to sell? Jewelry. I'm going to sell fake jewelry. I can't find a cash register. What do you think this is? What do you think I'm stood next to? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What was, what was that? She just robbed me. She went in, grabbed a load of tat, went, I can't find a cash register, walked right past me in broad daylight and stole items. What do you mean I'm not at the till? I literally clicked start working ages ago. I can't believe she just nicked stuff. I swear, man. Is he working there now? I like when store plays music. Aww. The walls and floors are ugly. Dude, you're so critical. You're here for cheap tat and you're complaining about the music. Oi. Yeah. That's more like it. I don't like it when music plays. <sighs> That's what I always think that when I walk into a news agent, I'm like, oh, I like it when music plays. Aww. How much are we making out of this? Uh -huh. <sighs> why would I want to move the sh Why would I want to move the cash register further inside? I want to grab them on the way out. Let's have a look at what we're doing. 15 gifts. Build limit 15 capacity per hour. Have we made an inventory and pricing? Here we go. Market price 18, your old price 18. Stock. So we've sold five, I think. Okay, speed up time. Oh, we need to go and get lunch though, that's the problem. Like my carrots are starving. Is there a, a food shop I can run out to? Like a donut shop or something? <laughs> I need to take a lunch break. Can you close for lunch on the schedule? Can you take... Oh, you can't, can you? Can't close for lunch, I don't think. There's an invisible queue. And when you get busier, if the queue extends outside, people will just leave. What... So they, so they don't queue inside, they queue outside. You can have multiple shifts per day and put a gap in between. Oh, can you? How do you do that? How, how do you add another shift? Open those. There we go. What time is it? Right, let's close at lunch. There we go. Now we're cooking. Um, technically... It doesn't, we don't want it to be two, but it'll be two for now. We've got an hour to go and get lunch. You can change the queue by opening the interior designer, then click on the cash register. Okay, interior designer. Click on the cash register. Is that the queue? How do we move it? Right, we're temporarily closed. Is there a food shop? What's this? Fruit and produce. I just want a bite to eat. Salad. $12 for a salad? Fresh food. There we go. Did he grab it? Oh my god, I 
need a shopping basket just to pick up a sandwich. I'm on my lunch. Move, people. Move. There we go. Fresh food. Right. Consume. There's lunch. Working man's lunch right there. And he's back just in time if he can find his shop. Where's the shop gone? Oh, I've lost the shop. Where's the shop? It's over the road. <laughs> that hour went really quick. <laughs> that hour was so quick. Barely got time for a sandwich. But yeah, what I want to do is change the schedule now so it's like 8 till 12. Three till uh, I don't know. What about that? Ten hours a day. Oh, brutal. Ten hours a day, but we'll bring the money in. <sighs> yeah, look, all the queues are full. How do we move this thing? I don't know how we move it. That that basically can't sit where it is. The queue is here, but they're just... I don't know, it just doesn't work very well. We'll have to move that back here somewhere. How do I... Um... Oh, we'll spend some money on the interior. Hang on. The wall. The floor. Oh, but that's nice and garish, isn't it? That and that. Okay, that did nothing. Oh. Yeah, we'll just wait till it closes and then we'll redesign it, I guess. <coughs> Whoa, COVID girl, can you please not... See, people are still shopping. It's almost 6 p.m. Look at that. See, because we're open later than everybody else, we're getting all the business. That's what it's about. There we go. Right. Now we're closed. How do I move stuff? Remove content. Business is currently closed. There are no shifts assigned today. Yeah, okay. How do I move this thing? Interior designer. Apply zero dollars. Doesn't do anything. Top right next to settings. What this? I don't know what that does. Submit a bug report. Maybe you drag it. Maybe. Hang on. Wrong one. Interior designer. Well, let me drag. How do you apply? Oh. Did not see that down there. Oh, that's lovely. How much is that? $1,700? I don't think so. I do not think so. That's insane. And that's not even the most expensive. <laughs> that's actually quite cheap. Okay, right. How do I move an item? So right click. Oh, I can change the color. Interesting. $94, dude. It's okay, so how do I change the fittings then? How do I actually move stuff around? If I want to pick this up and put it somewhere else, how do I do it? Do I need to get my little barrow thing? 
yeah, I'm, I'm out of interior designer, but how do I move stuff? Do I need to get my little thing? Let me do it if I do this. I mean purchase. White click's not doing anything. I'm right clicking, nothing's happening. Okay, remove content. Cheap gift. Remove content. Park vehicle. Can I pick this up now? Right click. Ah, here we go. Put that there. Right click. There we go. So it has to be empty. So I guess we want people back here. Like that maybe. That and then we could put that over there. to be stuck. I can't actually move. Literally can't move. WASD is not doing anything and I can't... Is that because it's in... Put that back a sec. Nope, I literally can't move. Set the contents off the shelf. Cheap gift. Yeah, but normally, I don't know if I'm paused. That's paused. That's not paused. There's the clock. See? I think it's... I think it's bugged out. How do I... Um yeah, I mean, I can't move around right now. I think it's kind of bugged out on me somehow. Save and exit to desktop. Hmm. I think it's because I was managing stuff and I'm in that walk around mode and it said that that was currently like in beta, I think. Navarine, thank you for 76. There we go. So yeah, it's literally booked Great out. work, kiddo. Now it's time to open up and start handling some cash, making some money. I'm crossing my fingers. Right, so suppose we better go to... We'll leave the car there, actually. We'll just run around the corner. I think we only live here. So we got work at 8 a.m., I think. Two lots of food left. Hmm. We're going to have to have a day when we're actually closed. I think Sunday should be that day, and it is Sunday. Because we need a day we can go and buy some more stock. 
However, does the warehouse open on a Sunday? Because if it doesn't... Opening biz, man. You've no, no idea. Farrox, how you doing? Whoa, there he goes! 120! 120! 10 years! 10 years! Hope everyone's having a great time. Keep yourself cool and hydrated. Gil, I don't know what the weather's like, but over here, it's just rainy and windy and cool. It's brilliant. Man, that's insane. So Thyrox is, is the very, very, very first subscriber on the channel. Very first subscriber. I can still rem remember the day when my partnership went active. And Gil and Whiteland and a whole bunch of others... The Venga, they all hit sub. Uh, that was back in July of 2013, that was. And 10 years later, here he is, hitting resub on 120 months. Thank you very much. That, that Honestly, Gil, that's incredible. 10 years is incredible. I can't believe it's been 10 years. I can't believe we're all 10 years older. It's just madness. Absolute madness. Are they really Zint's house? Yep. The whole, there's a few of you that week. They kept it all going for 10 years. That's crazy. Robber's house, thank you for 10 months. Slump with 11. Exosphere, thank you for 109 months. You still look as handsome as ever. Well, I have a beard now, Gil. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. <laughs> have you still got your beard, Gil? Is it still like manly man? not seen you for ages eyesight's starting to go that's true I didn't need glasses when I started this it makes you look more epic <laughs> I think we should close on Sunday I'm gonna go and do some shopping I think we need to get more, more uh, shelves and things If you shave your beard, you look 10 years younger. You see, Larry, that's my secret plan, mate. That's my secret plan. Get everybody used to this, and then one day I'll shave it all off, and they'll be like, whoa, you've gone back 10 years. <laughs> right, we're going to close today. I'm going to go out and see if we can... Uh... Where was the... Oh, man, I need to find the warehouse thing. Um, I can't remember the wholesale store. I just had it then. Literally just had it. There it is. It's down the road. Do you turn? Crazy truck drivers. Look, just trying to cut me out. It's deliberate, that was. No, I don't want you to get in. I want you to get the thing. Oh, my God. Okay, let's do it that way, then. Right. Oh, my God. Opening, to, they don't up. Oh, they're closed on Sunday as well. I need stuff, and I need another shelf. Is everywhere closed on Sunday? I don't know if you can from actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can actually. Where's the the place that sells um what was it called? Is it an appliance store where you get the shelves from? Is that an appliance store? Furniture store. Once another couple of shelves. 
and that's all we need really it's how many they open they open in 21 hours at 6 a.m tomorrow rip yeah i'm gonna have to take a break on monday what if we open on sunday when nobody else is open and then just take a break on monday at least i can get stuff done on monday I don't know. I thought the appliance store was where they stalled. They had a refrigerator and they had shelving in there. Remember that. Right, we'll open on Sunday, close on Monday. Who closes on Monday? That's just Maybe what we should do is open... Saturday should be our day off. Or is that madness? I don't know. Man, she was quick. It's so ugly in here. I like it when it looks really nice when I'm buying my cheap gifts. Yeah, that seems to be working a bit better. How many things have we got left? Yeah, we're gonna need some more cheap gifts. Can this be our storeroom? Can we get a shelf and put stuff in here? I presume that's what you're meant to do. We do have money for interior design, but I also want to make sure we get more stock. Oh, what time it? We're closed. Oh, we're closed for lunch. <laughs> I forgot about lunch. I'm guessing so, Andy lad. I reckon after two days it'll say hire somebody. Why not have the fridge just eat here? <laughs> what, you want me to put a fridge in here? And then sleep in the car and never go back to the apartment. <laughs> you get pallet shelves and stick box in the back room. That's what I want to do. I want to st have a storeroom here. I mean, I'm not even sure the interior decoration is going to have a massive effect on people. Maybe they'll like interior. Like, they're just getting a bad rating for interior. Customer service. Apparently, our customer service is not great. I don't see the problem. I just want some music. Is that it? I do need to get some more food, though. Opening later pays dividends. There we go. Our work here is done. Okay, so the place is closed tomorrow. So we can go down to the warehouse, get some more stock, get some shelves, get some more food. Get the admin done. More lot of food left. Well, look at you hustling around and stacking cash already. I tell you, your dad would have been so proud. I think it's time for your first hire. And don't forget to take that course at the Business Administration School so you know what you're doing, all right? Take a course at the Business Administration School? What is this madness? 
Like, where's that appliance shop? It's here somewhere, isn't it? What's this? Oh, is that it? You can't move the camera when you're driving the car, so I literally can't even look at what's behind me. Maybe Q and E. No, Q and E doesn't do that. Is that the appliance store? Yeah. Right. Okay. Ooh, this is a big one. Bakery showcase. A jewellery showcase, changing room, blimey. A cigar shelf, restaurant booth, story shelf. Wouldn't mind one of those for some stock, actually. Grab a storage shelf. Uh, production panel. Industrial grip. These don't have the rounded shelf that we had. Freezer, fridge, pizza oven. This is more. This is more for cooking. Hot dog grill. Yeah, this is the wrong kind of thing, isn't it? This is the wrong kind of place for us. Why do we need a cleaning station? I could have probably just walked over the road, couldn't I? Okay. Uh, Dan J, thank you for 104. Daz, thank you for 9. Squirrels and Nutter, thank you for 68. Timble with 40. Um, I need to try and remember which appliance store we need to go to. I think it was that one. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Literally put a dent in the car. Not good. This is the one. Right. Rounded shot of $1,200. What do you reckon we should get? Rounded shelf, angle display stand. I don't know. 
what what can you sell on a display stand? Cabinet with drawers. What's the cleaning station for? Do we need to buy one? Is that so we can clean up? Hey, Tillman. Um, need to clean your properties, gotcha. We'll get that so we can sell another type of thing. Make more money. down the road and get some stuff as well. Okay, what do we want to sell? We're selling cheap gifts. Do we just sell more cheap? Like, what else can we sell on that shelf? I've forgotten. Burgers, frozen food, no good. Well, cheap clothing. I remember when we put the shelf down, it gave us options. Was it flowers? I don't know where we get them from. expensive gifts from that's the problem Do we want to keep this in the back room? Out of view? Is that the idea of that thing? Like that? Just keep it back here or something? I presume we do. That is horrendous, I love it. 1700. Look at that. It's just amazing, is what it is. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Lovely. It's a, it's a feature wall. Two feature walls. Apply. Job done. They can't complain about that anymore. Trouble is, it's half past five. Everywhere's closing. And we don't have all the guffs, goods we need. Hang on, let's say what I didn't do. Undefined. Cheap gift, cheap flowers. Where do we get cheap flowers from? I don't know where to get cheap flowers. I think there's like a flower shop somewhere we can get cheap flowers from. What 
Well, there's a warehouse, a... We've got wholesalers already highlighted. That one didn't have it. That one, I don't remember seeing it there either. You can't go to a flower shop because they'll be selling it at retail price. You need to go to some kind of flower wholesaler is what you need. Yeah, but I don't know which wholesaler. It's not that one. It's not... It's weirdly not highlighting any more than those two. What's that one? A wholesale store. Closing in three hours. Do you reckon that'll be it? Let's try that quick. Oh, don't mess me around, game. Get in the car. Oh my god, the traffic actual traffic where do we even park Bags, soda cans, French fries, salad, hot dogs, pizza, cheap gifts, expensive gifts, croissants, donuts, cup of coffee, cheap flowers. Where's the checkout? This place is huge! <laughs> Where's the checkout? I'm in a race for time. Get at least two. Dude, I'm just trying to get one. Before they close. Hey, Wackaday. Okay. Mr. Burke. Mr. Burke with the raid. You're very kind, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome, guys. Can we give Burke a shout out? I hope you well. Had a great stream. Thank you very much. Appreciate it as always. And if you're not following, please give them a follow, guys. Right, where's the... Lost track of where we are. There we go, where's Cheap Tat? We've got to open for business with our new stuff. Right, stock up on cheap flowers. Here we go. place. No, that's not how we do it. That's how we do it. Alright, look at this. Right, how do we hire somebody? You're starving. Yeah. It's been a busy day, man. Eating comes later. I need to get some food anyway. There was a... Was that the food shop? What's a food shop over the road? I just need to eat some food before we like pass out or die or something. Right, that's the last of the food right there. Right, complete the basic management course. 
no idea what that is. Start a recruitment campaign for customer service employees. Uh, my employees. Recruitment campaign. Don't know what I'm doing. I need to hire somebody, otherwise we're going to be working all day. You have to go to college to learn. You see, that's the problem. Manhattan Business School, what time was that open? It doesn't actually say when it opens. Maybe it's open now. Maybe it's open 24 hours a day. If I don't hire an employee before tomorrow, I'm going to have to go and work there again. That's the problem. <coughs> of course you're open at 6am, of course you are. Why, right, we're sleeping in the car. Six AM on the money. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Basic management. Uh start studying. Why? <laughs> Who's gonna run the shop while I'm doing this? Ten hours? Ten hours? I ain't got time for this. Thirty dollars an hour. So I've got to do all this before I can even hire an employee. How do I close the shop? Bisman? Tax gift shop. Okay, we are officially closed for the next two days. There we go. Start studying. We're going to study for eight hours. And then we're going to go and get some food. <laughs> Look at the food bar coming down. I don't know if we'll be able to last eight hours. Yeah, we're going to be starving. We're going to be starving. Yep, we're starving. Okay, where's the nearest food shop? Um, is it retail we want? What's that? Where can I buy a load of food from? Retail, what's that? Is it fast food or fruit and veg? Fruit and veg, yeah, it'll do. Down the road, there's one there, fruit and veg. He's probably just going to die before he gets there. Basket, tomato, carrot, a pear, a lettuce. Is this a meal? What happens if he buys an apple? Can he just eat the apple? Can 
consume the apple. Ah, it gives you a bit of food. Okay, that's taken the taken the edge off it. Right, is it like a grocery store where we can just buy a meal? Supermarket, that's probably what we want. Supermarket, there's one, there's a big one here, look. What up is it? A massive supermarket. That's more like it, that's what we're talking about. Let's add temporary items. Wait, just discard your paper bag. Okay, fresh food. Frozen food. It's just all fresh food and frozen food. Okay. Fresh food. I'll grab a whole bunch of these. I can only carry ten, apparently. Can I carry soda as well? Nope. That's all my basket will take. Yep, the flat has a fridge. We'll consume more then. Try and remember where I parked the car. Why did I park the car? Okay, where's the car? Oh, there it is. It's the beaten up one. Is that ours? Nope. I don't know where my car is. There's my car. Okay. Left it outside the... Um, Manage storage. Actually, we better go and put this in the fridge. Otherwise, it'll just go off. Is that thing in the back? No. Where's all my stuff? Wait. Do I have a paper bag full of items, or is... Yes, I do. Okay. Stick these in the fridge and then we'll come back. Where do I live again? Here. Can you paint your car? That would be good. I get it bright green or something. That's now got the food in it. Um, yeah, we're about to sleep. That's why I turned. That's why I closed the stove for two days to give us time. Uh, Jay Webster, thank you for 37 months, tier 2. Dave, how you doing, mate? 75 months. One month for every year you are young or something. Lol. Don't bill me, thank you for 86 months. Dan Jay, thanks for 104. Daz with 9, happy Twitch baby, sir. Do we need to eat yet? Do we need to eat? Probably should eat before we go in. Edge. Get breakfast and then we can finish our course off. The school opens at 6 and the food shops only open at 8. It's annoying. Right, how many hours have we got left? Oh, we're nearly done. Let's do it for two hours. 
I reckon we can do that. Let's go. There we go. Start a recruitment campaign for customer service employees at Anderson Recruitment. Okay. How? Oh, we have to go though, right? Okay. Let me grab a snack then. shopping basket. I can hold an apple. Right, we'll have for lunch, we'll have a an apple Aha. and a lettuce. Aha. We shall eat the lettuce first and then we'll eat the apple. Mm. Then we'll throw the paper bag on the floor and walk out the shop. What, you've never had a lettuce for lunch? No, it's not. It's a lettuce a day keeps the doctor away. That was misquoted famously. The buzz... I thought it said the busty goat. <laughs> the busy goat. What's that? A coffee shop. P.P. Burns, thank you for subbing with Prime. Welcome. No, there's no bread, just a lettuce. Can't have a lettuce sandwich. Okay, right. Start a recruitment campaign. Who do we see? You an expert? Hello, and welcome to Anderson Recruitment Call. What type of employee are you looking for? Oh, let's see. Somebody to work at Tats Hall, folks. And we want them to be in customer service. Age group. I don't know. Days to deliver. What does that mean? Oh, you mean days before we get them. Interesting. So the quicker you want them, the more money you pay. Interesting business model they've got going on here. How urgent is this employee, sir? No, I don't think it's the campaign length. Because the price goes down, look. It's how long before you want them. I don't think the age really matters, does it? Like, why is that even... a thing? Start a recruitment campaign. Wait for to send you the first candidate through the contacts app. Sign the employee. Old people are probably slower. That's a bit ageist. Young people probably play on the phones all day. There you go. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> Should we just say 31 to 50 and hope we get somebody decent then? Yeah, let's just discriminate. Let's just completely age discriminate. There you go. One day. We want them now. Thank you so much. We'll send the candidates to resume as soon as we find them. Can we help with anything else? No. Okay, so we're just going to wait for them to send people through. Meanwhile, what can we do meanwhile? We can do some more learning. There was some more stuff going on back at that place. Although it's removed it from my... What was it called again? I might keep that highlighted. The whole set store. Internal revenue service. Oh my god.
what was that place where we just went to get um, training? What was it called? Something school. I can't find it. Is it literally just called school? case we need to turn around and go that way a graphical glitch like that where you get to see inside the buildings a bit weird Because they had some more courses, didn't they? Uh, what's it called? They had basic management, which we've done, I assume. And then fundamentals of business administration, whatever that is. 24 hours. Do you know what? We've got nothing else to do. I think we should just knock out like a couple of hours. Just chip away at it. Why have they not sent me an employee yet? Okay, they're not found anybody apparently. We did give them a day, I suppose. Smack another hour of study. Still nothing. 5 p.m. What time did they close here? whole bunch of study we're gonna have to go work there tomorrow because apparently this anderson company can't find people for us so we'll have to man the office ourselves and get some more money not sure yet duck fail not sure which way we're doing it Why is it pointing me in the direction of the law firm? Never retire. <laughs> law. Is that worse than I did though? Davs, thank you for 42 months. What do they do? Oh, oh well. Never know. And let's grab some snare. Right. We better get up in time for work. What time did we start the day? I think it was like 8 a.m. Do you need to rearrange the shelves? I don't think so. I don't think it matters that much. I reckon. Hmm. You need to interact with the cashier. Give me a croissant. Yeah, I couldn't possibly have got that off the shelf myself. Keep the paper bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We stopped for a croissant. Right, let's see what they complain about now.
Just to get some stock in the stock room, that'd help. Hey! Right, hang on. Contacts. And there's some recruitment. Uh, good news, we found you a new candidate. Age 39, female. Marilyn Hobson. Wants $21 an hour. What? Customer service 35%. Part-time critical. What does that mean? Between 10 and 30 hours a week. I don't think that's going to work for us. No weekends. Nice to have. It's critical that they work part-time. Wait, do we get any more candidates? I want one candidate. Okay. Do they send more through? Because she's a bit meh. You only pick one. I only want to hire one. No, 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 no. Now, hang on a minute. I told them I wanted to hire one person. I didn't want to receive one CV. <laughs> I want to hire one employee. I don't just want one CV, though, do I? I want to, I want to choose. That's how the game works. I don't know what happens if I cancel that one. I'll probably waste five hundred dollars. Younger people may settle for less pay. Older people may have more experience. Yeah, we can run it with one person. <laughs> Use the law office to sue them. <laughs> I'm not so sure what to do now. If I cancel it, I feel like I waste five hundred dollars because I don't know if they'll send another one through. Will if I cancel this, will they send another one maybe tomorrow? Is that how it's worked, or is that it? We just get one. You just get one. Oh, that absolutely sucks. See, ten to thirty hours. That's not good for us. That's not enough hours. We need somebody who work longer. Unbelievable part-timers. This is our lunch break. Go over the road to... Um, not AJ's, where was it? I thought we had a veggie thing up opposite. Fruit and veg store, there we go, that'll do. Today's lunch will be a pear and an apple. We are so healthy. I like how he always makes a point of eating it right in front of them. Can I call the agency? Contacts. Call them. Uh, amount of candidates. I want two candidates. Oh, man. Just give me any. I don't care. Just give me anyone. Sleeve that to business. I've only got one business. Customer service, go. Another thousand dollars down the drain. Let's try and earn it back. Again, starting to get a bit low on stock here. So what's this 
schedule. I think we're going to have to work Saturday. Actually, Saturday we might have to pick up stock. See, 10 to 30 hours is never going to work for us. The longer we can stay open, the more money we can make. We need somebody who's quite happy to work 50 hours. That's what we need. that those shelves have stock at the back customers can't it doesn't matter but we'll have to move them I think I think we'll have to just pull them out a bit total profit 400 yeah, does that include a thousand dollars fee to Anderson ripoff? expensive flowers, I want cheap flowers. Okay. Come on, where's the punters? Waiting for the phone call. That's what we're waiting for. Mm. Time was lunchtime one. He's starving, look at him. Can you clean the floor? Well, we've got a cleaning thing, but I don't know how to use it yet. There we go. And lunch consisted today of three pairs. I'm expecting a phone call any minute. There we go. Let's see what we got. We got one candidate. I paid for two. How does that work? Decline that one. Better customer service. 30 to 50, that's more like it. However, I wanted two candidates. Where's the other one? Do we just wait for it? No evening shifts, nice to have. So an evening shift is classed as 6 p.m. onwards. 
I don't care if she wants $24. We can easily make that. 30 to 50 hours is way, 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 way better. And she's better at customer service, though. I think we'll hire this. I think we'll hire the candidate and then schedule 50 hours work without, without evenings. Hired. Right. My employees. No task. Customer service. Oh, you can train them, look. Full time. Critical, they want between 30 and 50 hours. That's absolutely fine. I don't know what the tick means. Uniform. We don't have a uniform. Configure uniform preset. Oh, God. Hang on. What would you... You need to have a suit. You need to look like the, the owner. That's what you need to do. So you need to be in shorts. You need to be in shorts with a suit top, really. There we go. And then posh shoes. <laughs> that's, that's the look, isn't it? It's, it's the owner's look. I need to look bold as best you can. No, we don't need any of that unless you can do a tie. You can't do a tie. That looks ridiculous. So that's the female one. Save changes. Create new preset. Tat. We'll call it Tat preset. Oh, it's reset it, you scumbag. What? Wait, what? No, just rename that. Get rid of that. Rename that to Tat. Then the men, so the men should have suit top with shorts. There we go. Posh shoes. Bold. Perfect. Female suit, male suit. Brilliant. That'll do. So uniform is tat. Current business. Tat's all folks. Manage to schedule. Um not Sunday. What does she want? Fifty to eighty hours. Uh doesn't want to work after six. We need to bring that in. Um let's see. Cleaning station. Interesting. Hmm. Well, no, you either have to be bald, like the owner, or you have to wear a cap so you look bald. That's that's the uniform. <laughs> Everybody has to look like the, the CEO. That was the point. Okay, what time do you want to do? So we've got five days. We can easily do... Well, we can do ten hours... Five days at 10 hours is one option. She'll work between 30 and 50. So she could do like nine to five or something. We can give her an hour's break as well. She could take, what's that, four hours. Yeah, she could do like um, something like that. Or even that. So you can't assign it to be on the cleaning station when the store's closed, which is a bit weird. Eight hours for six days, we could do. That's only 48, isn't it? I mean, what's better, Baz? Six days at eight hours or five days at ten? I don't know. Still says zero hour per week for a... Uh, yeah, we've not assigned it yet. We've got, we've got to do things here, I think. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out the schedule. I've not done the assignment yet. I'm just trying to work out whether we should stay open five days or six days. That's... I, I don't know if there's any benefit. 
I guess some employees don't like weekend work, so that would benefit them, wouldn't it? You found the best way was to have two staff per register, both part-time, and opening the place 24-7. Really? Interesting way of doing it. Two staff, yeah, that might work. We actually have another CV coming, I think, if Anderson doesn't rip us off. We paid for two CVs, we've only been sent one. So why don't we give a... For now, we don't want to work past 6pm, that's, that's a given. We'll give her eight hours. Like that. Do six days. Right, how do we actually assign a kind of schedule? Where do we actually assign it to work here? I don't know where we do it. But we drag her onto the schedule, you reckon? But this is her schedule. We've got the other one, hang on. Contacts. Can we just pause the game? Pause the game while we read stuff. Whoa, 48%. 30 to 50 hours. Barry Wells, four days per week. Okay, he only wants to work four days per week, but he'll work just as many hours. I don't mind that. We can work around that. You can drag her name onto the opening hours. Okay, let's hire this guy. Now we've got more flexibility to stay open here. This guy wants to work four hours. She doesn't want to work in an evening. We can get 50 hours out of both of them for a total of 100 hours, basically. He could do long days. He doesn't mind that. So he can, he could potentially... Okay. We could have him doing, like, late evenings or something, as long as he only works four days late evenings. Stick him on a weekend. Maybe. We could do that, couldn't we? We could put him Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But the other thing is, he's quite happy to work beyond 6pm. He has no time constraint. Won't supply the following action. Assign to business tax all folks. Yes, I do. Okay, so Barry, have you got the uniform, mate? No, you don't. Now you do. Okay, so they're both on that. Manage the schedule. Okay, so. How do we get rid of that? There we go. So if we let's try staying open, schedule for all days, probably not. How do we create a new schedule? Because I need a different schedule for four days of the week. That's the problem. Drag the opening, drag the opening times down to the employee. You mean do that? The only problem is I want I want a different schedule. Yeah, we can't do seven days a week. Oh, I see. This is now giving us control. I see what it's doing. Okie doke. So, I think we can open on a Sunday. What was her... Rec Order weeks are important to her. No evening shifts. Nice to have. Full-time critical. 
full time. So they both want full time. She ideally doesn't want to have an evening. So we can do four days where we take evenings. He'll take them. Yeah, it wasn't particularly obvious. Once you know how it works, it, it makes sense. But until then, it's a little bit confusing. Um, right, let's stay open till like nine o'clock on a Sunday and Barry can do that. Barry would do... How many hours is this? Nice if it actually showed you the hours. Eight hours per week. Currently. So that's not long enough for him. He needs longer. That's 11 hours per week. We can get 12 out of him. He could do 12 hours for four days. <laughs> Yeah, he could, he could just share his hours, I guess. It depends on what you want him to do. Like, I'm thinking he can graft for four days. Like, big time. Oh, yeah, that's not cash register, is it? Really? Did you have to change the size of my box, then? We also need to have some overlap, don't we, so that the cleaning gets done. I don't know how often we need to clean, that's the problem. So right now, he's doing 40, a 48-hour week. Yeah? But he's doing it in four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's what he's doing. But we've got two hours left, so we could still get him to clean for two hours. Uh, Taipan, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. Welcome, guys. Thanks for the support, Taipan. Now, we've still got 50 hours to play with for her. So what we could do was that full time 30 to 50. She said, well, I can't get her highlighted. She wants full time 30 to 50 hours per week is what it said, I think. I don't know how we keep them happy, but we're still trying to figure this out. So Monday, what are we open now? We're open for we're open nine till nine. Not, not bad, is it? No, it's online. Let's see if we can make that happen. Seven days a week. So, she can basically man that. You don't have to max them out. Correct, but why wouldn't you? Now, the only problem with this is there's no cleaning being done. They will stress out. She doesn't like evenings. Correct. So she doesn't like working after. She doesn't like working after six. So that means we need to bring. So that's going to be a problem. It means on some days we can't open after six. What well, does that make a difference, Messi? Because the game's not giving me any information about giving people a break. Like it literally doesn't say it. I don't know what makes them happy until I start making them work. So actually, the way we should do this is just open earlier. The other thing is I don't know how the footfall works. Like, do you get more footfall during the day than at night? Like, I've no, no idea. I don't know what happens if you press auto full pups, but I'm not pressing it. No one got rich from making their staff happy. EV, thank you for 77 months watching for my new laptop. Nice. Okay, so what if we, instead of doing this, what if we open earlier? 
what if we'd go for like a, a six till six type day? So she can start by working through the day like that. Well, no, messy, but it's a game, so it's whatever the game mechanics are. Right, so let's say we start her off on doing that. She does that. Barry Wells is doing Thursday. Okay, right, so. On that basis... Ingrid is currently working 36 hours. Barry's doing 48. So they're within the limits. He's only doing four days. And she's not working after six. That's fine. There's no cleaning getting done. And the shop is open 12 hours a day. Seven days a week. That's not a bad start. But we need to get some cleaning done. So what we could do... Like on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we can split them a little bit and get some cleaning done, so have some overlap. Yeah, they can. They can, Sim Games fan. Dude. The problem is Monday to Wednesday, because we have no overlap then. So she can come in, like, towards the end of the day and just clean up. You can clean the store yourself, but you'll be running around buying stock as well, you know? So she could do like a one hour clean at the end of the day, Thursday. A one hour clean at the end of the day, or Friday. Imagine coming in for one hour. Yeah, can you please travel to work and just do one hour's work? Thanks. No, because David, Barry only wants to work four days a week. Yeah, so we can only use him Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Which is why we've got him Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Ingrid is coming in doing some cleaning. So, so that works Thursday to Sunday. Monday to Tuesday, there's no cleaning being done. Ingrid's leaving as soon as possible. Well, you can't. That's the problem, Andy. You can't have them cleaning before the store opens, I don't think. Like, we can't assign her. We can do that, and then I think we can drop her in here somehow. Won't even let me do that. I'm not even sure why I can't do that. Why can't I use her here? That's weird. Is it too early for it? Well, that actually works. He can apparently do that. Bass, we're on Wednesday. Baz, why are you getting this thing where she doesn't want to work on a weekend? What does it say that? You have to have a separate cleaner, but they can come in before the store opens. Well, it's letting me do this. It's not complaining about that.
All she wants is full-time hours and no evenings according to those needs. Correct. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, Hakano, thank you for 17 months. I think we can probably just... She doesn't mind coming in doing that for an hour. He can work a bit less time. do that don't know if she can well that's what we're getting all the cleaning done at 5 a.m aren't we that's what we're doing here it's just how much do we split their time here like she's already coming in stupid thing or it gets to lie I mean the only problem with this is Ingrid is literally in the office seven days a week which is absurd You're not closing for lunch. Why would we? <laughs> it's in seven days. And, not, and she comes in at like 5am. It's just a ridiculous schedule. Barry could do the weekend clean. Like, I don't even think Ingrid needs to come in at all. Well, she won't work past six, so... Maybe the way we should do this is to have him do the cleaning and do it that way. I don't know. You could do it like that. We'll get tricky with a bigger company. Yeah, just come in for a two hour shift. <laughs> oh, my life. Yeah, as long as she doesn't work evening, she's fine. Okay, so you've got that now. So, I think that that's balanced in some sense in that it ticks the boxes. He's not working more than four days and she's not working after 6 p.m. They're both working 30 to 50 hours. She's working a bit more. You know, we, we, we could change the balance of that. We could have her just come for an hour, which is ridiculous, but um, I don't know if there's a limit to how long he can work. I mean, we could basically do this. We could get rid of that and do that. So that way she gets a day off. The register's on man for the cleaning, but the store isn't open till six, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I haven't done the... What I should have... I've done, made, made a mistake here. It should have been... It should have been this. That's what it should have been. Actually, it doesn't matter for that. Thursday. Grid. Yeah, so that's Ingrid's day off. Yeah? So Monday to Wednesday, she's basically holding the fort, cleaning, doing the thing. Thursday, she gets a day off. Barry, they kind of do a little bit of a hybrid thing. But they're both doing 45 hours.
I think we go with that. Deliveries, marketing, who knows? Who knows, guys? Who knows? Friday six till Friday four to six. Nobody's on the cash register. Um, let's see schedule. That is true. You are correct. She's cleaning, but nobody's actually working on the cash register. So that should actually be like that, and like that, and like that, and that maxes his fifty hours out. That shouldn't be there. The grind is real. Barry's working the max, like 49 hours. <laughs> Are we seeing that or we just hire somebody else? We hire a third employee and drop them in there as well. Uh, Celtic, thank you for 34 months. Doing a rare drop on uh, Twitch. Got married in September and have our first baby on the way, so things are a bit hectic. Well, congratulations to you. Good to hear from you. I kind of thank you for 17 months. I don't know if this is going to make him really unhappy. It may well do. Uh, we'll just have to adjust. I think what we have to focus on... Yeah, look at who's the boss. You did a good job on that hire, kid. I know having an employee takes a big cut out of what you're taking in, but it also gives you extra time. Time to uh, uh, start cleaning up these floors. Oh, man, they're a bit nasty. I can't get him to clean the floor. There's no point cleaning the floor. It'll get cleaned tomorrow anyway. we get any more CVs through from here? Got Barry, Ingrid, no, that's fine, we're all done on that. Yeah, because what we need to worry about is like the stock and stuff, right? Because there's no, you know, we're getting low on flowers, we're getting very low on cheap gifts. We need to do a run down to the warehouse, which we can do now we've got people working here. And we can stock the shelves. What I don't know is how does the stock Complete first of Uncle Fred's objectives. How does the stock get moved from here to here? Floors? We're looking good. <laughs> Make sure you keep them clean. You don't want the customers walking around in a dirty store, okay? All right. Now, back to business. Maybe it's time to start looking for other opportunities. By any chance, have you noticed that people, your customers, are looking for something to drink? How about stock in a fridge or something like that with cans of soda? You can make some extra money on that. Bada bing, bada <laughs> Buy a drinks fridge, buy some soda, place the drinks fridge in your store, fill it up with soda. Okay. We'll have to do that. Was it Friday? I think the warehouse is open Saturday. We need an appliance store and a warehouse run. Yeah, I don't know how the stuff gets stocked from here to here, look. I think we're going to have to run back and do it, aren't we? Okay, right. That's that for today. So presumably they start tomorrow. So if there's stock on the shelf, will it just automatically get restocked? Nice. Okay, right. We need to sleep. What time is the warehouse open? I found the food and drink didn't sell well and barely worth it. Right, so you ditched it straight after. Okay, right, I need to find my car. That's not my car. Is that my car? Interesting. Uh, 
somebody want a fridge do we get a fridge we can get a fridge from that one yes we can and then we need to go down to the blind shop Frogger! Really? Nine o'clock? What a bunch of part-timers. Nine o'clock. Oh, really? That's a good one, Celtic. Uh, the cow didn't have a big dent when I got it. But it got one when somebody deliberately rammed into me. I had nothing to do with the accident, so I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah. <coughs> $1,800 on a fridge. Never going to make that money back. Wait, is that, is that the kind of fridge we need? Why, no, we need a drinks fridge. If you get some tiles for your floor, lay them in one direction. Uh, okay. I think this is the wrong kind of... Industrial freezer, salad bar... I don't think this is the right shop. This is a drinks fridge. There we go. Now I need to go and stock up on stuff. Um, that's the best place, isn't it? Oh, store inventory, there you go. So from here we can get cheap flowers, cheap gifts. Coffees, donuts. Cans of soda. We can get everything we need from this one. That's not the whole side of the one. Can we just drive in? Wait, what? How, how does this work? Do we just load? Um, 
Is this what you meant to do? Right, cheap flowers, we'll have some of them. I have two lots of them. Stock up the shelves. Uh, what do you want? Hot dog salads. French fries. Paper bags. We'll grab one of them. Some soda. Can't stock any more for some reason. I think I'm limited by how much I can get on this truck. How much storage have we got in here? I've got loads. I need a larger sack barrel thing. Right, cheap gifts. A couple of them. They seem to sell pretty well, don't they? Soda's not expensive. What, you reckon we'd get even more? That's three cheap gifts. Can you just put it in the car and take it to the checkout? You see, I've never shopped like that IRL, so I'm not used to that. Right, so right now we have two flowers, two cheap gifts, one paper bag, one, and two soda. Do you reckon that's enough, or we should get even more stuff? Bearing in mind, we have seven and a half grand left. But we have a 15 grand loan outstanding. I could potentially get another flower and another gift. Your car is full, is it? Is the car full? Uh oh. So I've just paid for something that I can't carry. Can I get a refund? <laughs> uh, that's all good. Take some Actually, the soda doesn't. Which is cheaper, the paper bag or the soda? I know the soda was cheap. I can't remember where the paper bags were. So, the soda is $13.60 pieces. I'm not walking the hand truck all the way back. What if we just park it here? Will it be here when we get back? If I just leave it there? Can we come back for it later? Well, we're going to find out. Mistakes were made and we're going to find out. I need a pickup truck or something. That's what I need, that pickup truck. Okay. 
Hi, hi. How's it going, sir? How's it going? Let's grab this. Right, we'll get the fridge. Get the soda. to go but this isn't just enough to make the hey kid i talked with a good friend yesterday name is gary he owns a drive-in wholesale store down in the industrial area they sell stuff in big chunks but a lot cheaper you should bring a car it's too far to walk wait didn't we go to a wholesale store This reminds me so much of GTA 2 on the SNES. The only thing missing is the radio in the car and the nonchalant vulgarity of the passers-by. <laughs> oh god, I've just noticed we're starving. Thank you, 4D. Guy lives off fruit. He's so healthy. So it wants us to visit a wholesaler that it said you need to drive to. But we've been going to a fairly big, like, distro place anyway. So is this a different one? Hey, look at that. We didn't get ripped off. How nice. You're talking about the place you've already been to, right? Glovage. Absolute glovage. No game. Uh, did I pick up the bags out the back? Yes, I did. Okay, so our work here is done. So it wants us to visit the drive-in store that we've already been to. Uh, das Walrus, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Makes you appreciate Amazon, deli Amazon deliveries. I wonder if you can get drone deliveries in this. Roasted. Are we making money yet? That's the question. I know, but I like the fun of it. Backlash.
390 profit. It's not amazing, is it? But while I've got a bit of downtime, smack out another couple of hours of this. Chip away at it. Yeah, it's like like the open university point, you know, you just just pick up the books and you need to do a bit more. Right, let's check in on the shop, see what's going on. Okay, who's working? Is it Barry? Yeah, Barry's here. Shelves looking full. Okay. Okay for stock at the moment. I reckon we can visit this place that it wants us to go to that we've already been to, get that ticked off and buy a bit more stock. Oh, it's Sunday. I bet they're not open. Are they open on Sunday? They are open on Sunday. All right, back to your customers. You're always complaining customers, right? <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't worry. Eventually, they'll be happy and so will your bank account. But right now, we do have two problems. The customer service level of your employee and their lack of a uniform. What do you mean, lack of uniform? I take issue with that. Reassign your employee to your gift shop. Wait, what? Increase your employee's customer service level to 50% using the My Employees app. Which one? Either of them? Employee has to be assigned from any business. You mean to train them, we have to take them off the business? Are you serious? Yeah, but they have days off, don't they? Why can't I train them when they're on a day off? Right, cheap flowers. Couple of cheap flowers. Where's the um, expensive cheap gifts around the corner? Yeah, so you basically you just load your car up directly and then I think you come to the hotel and you pay there. That's how it works. It's kind of like literally a drive through Soda cans went up by $3. See, that's... It tells you to go there and then jacks the price up.
manually adjust your prices. Yeah, I'm going to do that now, I think. Ready to make more money. That should keep that busy for a while. Right, let's see. Bizman. Um, that's all, folks. Inventory and pricing. Here we go. So, cheap gifts. We've sold zero soda cans. The game literally told us to do something. Have you noticed that your old customers are looking for a drink? Why don't you get some soda cans? Yeah, okay, we haven't sold any, buddy. Let's, let's uh, make it cheaper than the market. Cheap gifts. Would we sell more if you brought the price down? Looking for music, exactly. 88% of our stuff is cheap gifts. No, it was definitely a drinks fridge. We definitely got the right fridge. Let's see if we sell more. Marketing. You don't have any active marketing campaigns. Yeah, I definitely loaded them in the fridge. We did all the obvious stuff. Look. If you hover over that, 57 out of 60. So according to this, we've sold three. Either that or Barry's drunk three, which is would explain why we haven't sold any, but we're down three on the stock. So who knows what's going on? If in doubt, get your admin done. Maybe, maybe it was theft. Maybe we need to hire security staff. <laughs> Possibly Lars, we could try it. Now that it's Monday, if we go to my employee's Barry. Barry doesn't work Monday, so how do we current business unassigned? 
customer service train. Are you sure you want to train him to 58%? It'll cost 355 and run for one day. Confirm. When was Ingrid's day off? Was it Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Or was it Thursday? That's how you maximise with your... With, <laughs> that's like boss skills, isn't it? On your day off, we, we unassign you and train you. You're getting free training. Not, you can't really complain. Is that Ingrid? Look, that's got 59 in it. That would be annoying, but that really would be annoying. I've got to recreate all those shifts. Okay, so for the fancy gift shop. Okay, so yeah, once I've reassigned, that will be done. No, you can't. It wouldn't let me. It said you can't sign him to training while he's assigned to a business. Market Insider. Citizens are recently showing strong demand for burger. One Omega Investments open four-star gift shopper. Wait, does this mean... This is research strong Day 7, day 13, we're on day 50. So a gift shop is open nearby. Burgers on the up, as are cheap gifts. Well, you can hire a temp, but the problem is it costs you at least $500 in recruitment fees just to hire somebody. So it's kind of... Do you really want to be throwing them away like that? And the thing is as well, you only pay the employee by the hour they work, so when they're not working for you, you don't pay them. It's not like you pay them a certain salary and then, you know, as long as you, as long as you work within their parameters... Like, we could hire somebody else and spread everybody's hours out, and as long as they're above 30, they're happy. Well, what does foot four mean? The people walking past or the people, the maximum capacity of your, your store, which is currently 15? So I'm not really clear on what footfall is in this game. capacity yeah well we're on our starter building so we're, we're limited to 15 well we're not doing food yet but if we were doing food, we'd be selling burgers. study so 
So when do we know... Does it tell us that that employee is finished training? Come training. Okay. I doubt it, Baz, because I don't think kebabs are as popular. get some music inside the store so I'm not clear on My stereo. Well, it would definitely be an appliance store, wouldn't it? If we could buy one. Oh, this was the food related one. This sells the grill. The grill, the checkout, pizza oven, large drinks fridge, industrial fridge. Yeah, that's the foodie appliance one. Oh. Wait, you can buy the business. Look at that. So no appliance stores over here. There's one over there. There seem to be that many appliance stores around. Furniture store. What for? A, for music? Why would why would you need a furniture store for music? See the L shaped building on the map by 6th Avenue. Uh, L shaped building. That one? It doesn't label it. That's IKEA. Like it literally doesn't label it for me. Ica Bohag. <laughs> There it is. It's even got the yellow and blue. It only opens at 10. 10 a.m. What is this? Yeah, but I didn't think a furniture shop would where you'd go for a stereo. I thought that was an appliance store. Oh, general US trucks. What's this? Oh, yeah. How much? The UMC Desert. Oh, look at this. 
How much are these? $6,000. That's not terrible. $98,000. That's a bit of a jump. 6K. I think we should get one as soon as we can. Come and negotiate a discount. Executive office desk. What's this about? There you go. Oh, the banana truck. I don't know if you can sell your car. We're going to need an upgraded van at some point. I'm surprised you can't buy these, like pickups. You can sell it. Cool. Come on, it's nearly 10 a.m. The Connell view. Still got to pay that loan off. 14 grand is what we owe. 580 expenses. We're making 460 a day. Not exactly um, Apple, is it? Barnsey, thank you for half a year. Solid potatoes, thank you for a year. I'm just going to go in IKEA first. And it's open. Woo! Don't think you can work out how to get in. <laughs> it's, it's trying to get in. It keeps kind of... Look, left click to enter. And it's freaking out. Oh my god, can you get meatballs? I bet you can get meat salad bar, hot dog grill. But you can't order a hot dog. Rubbish. It's just like IKEA with the stupid arrows. I take it you can buy anything you can see. I can't believe they put Ark here in this is ridiculous. Get all this furniture. So where's the stereo then? I came here for some music. He shouldn't be walking around with boxes, he should be walking around with a ticket. You basically go around with a ticket and then you get to the end and you find out it's not in stock and you can't order it. That's how IKEA works. 300 for a TV. 400 for loudspeaker, treadmill. Still can't find just a standalone stereo. What's all this? Flatbed. Amazing. This is where the stock is. Pattern carpet, Persian carpet, wavy carpet, computer, desktop computer, traffic sign. Wait, what? Ooh. Wait, do you just need to buy a speaker system? Floor lamp. $400 for a loudspeaker. So if I buy a loudspeaker and just put it in the store, I can then play music. Is that how that works? Okay. Can I just run a Q jump? Go away. 
Alright, how do you get out? There's no arrows on the floor. Got to get this back to the shop now. If I can remember where the shop is. Just jeans. Clothing store. I go, where am I? I'm here. Oh my god, look at that! A pink Porsche Carrera. He's just running along like he's stolen something. Right, let's see. Place. Loudspeaker. Toggle radio. Let's see what people think when they walk in now. Maybe they'll be happy with the music. Bass, I've not seen any kebab thing anywhere at all. I've seen pizzas, burgers, fruit and veg. You can't buy it. It's, it's market value is $155 million though, apparently. Three, five, six tobacco. That's a good point, actually. Is, has he finished his training? He's currently training the skill customer service. Apparently, he's still training. I thought he was on a one-day training course. said kebab Mr. Ferret Bomb thank you for the raid welcome hope you had a great stream good to see you how's Diablo assuming that's what you was playing We get a shout out for um, Ferret Bomb, please, mods. Let's do some more learning. Crack off three hours, I reckon. Not far off done on this. Hey, he's right. He's finished his employee training, so we'll click that. We'll put him back on that, and then we'll severely hope. Oh, phew. hang on! Oh, you scumbag game! You scumbag game! So basically, when you train them, they lose their entire schedule. See, oh, that's just frustrating. Can you remember what his schedule was? <laughs> yeah, his was easy. But imagine if you try and train Ingrid. Ingrid's all over the place. I can't remember what we had him doing. Was he doing an hour before? Ugh. Oh. 
I know those three days are right. I'm not sure what he was doing here. I've got it. I think we had him doing like an early hour or something. Was it there? That's just rubbish. So Ingrid is an hour before, hour before, hour before, day off. Last two hours, last two hours, last two hours. Because we're going to have to train her at some point. There you go, kiddo. Continue listening to your customers and keep improving. Keep improving. And by the way, you know you don't build an entire empire with just a gift shop, right? I think you should consider opening a new business. That said, you don't want to go rushing into something willy-nilly. You got to know what people want. There's an app for that. Market Insider app. See what people are looking for. Yeah, but hang on. We've got like a a big fat loan that we haven't paid back. Market Insider says on day 16, somebody opened kebabs kebabs. So there you go. There must be some kind of kebab shop. If somebody opened kebabs kebabs. Which is weird because they're not listed here as an item. Cheap jewelry, import price index. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. Is low or high better? Hell's Kitchen. Burgers. Burgers are strong everywhere. Doesn't matter what district you're in. However, there's already six businesses for burgers. <laughs> yeah, puppy kebabs just has the, a slightly different meaning. I don't feel like we've got enough money for this yet. Like, it wants us to um, open another business. Open the markets inside, sort list by demand to find the most demanded products, which we did. But, I'm not sure what this means here. Does this mean the import price is the same as the sale price? Does this mean there's a 1.6 multiplier on the sale price? I don't know. Yeah, but what does it mean? I know we can't do it, Dad's on the top, but what does it mean? Because it keeps mentioning the idea that we should be importing stuff rather than going to a wholesale. Price index of 1 is the same as buying wholesale, so 0.9 is cheaper. So what does 1.6 mean? That it's cheaper to get it at the wholesaler than it is to import it. How can it be cheaper at the wholesaler? has a low index and a high demand.
Right, so the wholesale is average. But the warehouse import price fluctuates. Is that what you're saying? What have we got left? 3 hours and 59 minutes. Let's get it done. Boom, we graduated. Now, you know, in business, we always research a market before we go into it, okay? Finally, before you start your next business, make sure you find a building with a high traffic index. Serving high-demand products, combined with an address seeing a lot of foot traffic, means high revenue. Hang on. He said high traffic, and then he said high foot traffic. Find a rental. Find and rent a retail building of maximum 75 square meters with a traffic index of at least 30. Open a fast food restaurant as a second business. Hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. Customer service is quite low. The interior is getting a good score now. Customers over time has dropped off. Not sure why. Traffic index of 40%. Shows how much foot traffic passes by your business. More traffic equals more potential customers. This index is based on location and can't be improved. Marketing indicates how much you are advertising your business to potential customers can be improved by running marketing campaigns. Well, we started to sell soda since we dropped the price a little bit. Where does it tell us what the margin is on, our, on the products we're selling? I think I'm gonna drop the price and see if that shifts a lot more. We're not we're not moving enough units. Schedule. So uh, Wednesday Wednesday is um no Thursday is Ingrid's day off, which is tomorrow. So we could unassign her tomorrow and train her. She finishes work at 6 p.m. So 6 p.m. today, we could unassign her, assign her onto training, and get that done. Compare the price you paid to retail manually. Oh God. So what what you need is a list of things that you've bought and sold. Like you want a simple accountancy like this is the goods you bought this is the goods you sold this is the price that's the profit like you want a basic balance sheet are we saying you don't have a basic balance sheet transactions cheap gift so cheap gift we sold a lot on day 14 Can't find any details on it. 
Well, there's no accounting app that I can see. Like, this is it, basically, because you can have multiple businesses. So, Bizman, Biz Manager, I assume that stands for, you can have multiple businesses here. This is your, what's this one? Yeah, I don't know. Full transaction view. Export to CSV. All amounts. Positive, negative. Item purchases. Oh, you see that it just says... That's so frustrating. It just says you purchase something from the from the distributor. It doesn't tell you what it is, but you paid 492 for it. How many did I buy? What was it? It's like you've got the data, but you don't have the data. And then just revenue. I doubt it'll be on Games Planet because it's early access on Steam. Hmm. That's not enough information. Because it doesn't tell me what item I bought. Anything I sell, I should be able to look at what I paid for it. Should be alright for stock for a while. Is it me or is he walking with a broken leg? <laughs> Time to get his daily intake of fruit. Right, he's had enough pairs. He's going to go for a. Uh This place got busy. All right, so it looks like we're on three o'clock, guys. So I think we're up for a break. Can I get a loan somehow? Where did I get a loan from? What was that dodgy guy? that we got a loan from last time. Is it a bank? There he is. He's, he's at the end of the road, though. I'm, I'm curious as to how much he'll lend us. One second. Because if we're going to be able to open a new business, then we're going to need a bit more money. Let's see what he'll... Jensen Capital. This was him. New loan. What's new investment do? Select investment fund. Interesting. How much would he... Surely there's a limit. Maybe there isn't. Maybe these guys will just lend you whatever and then just come and take your stuff anyway right um, it's 3 o'clock I'm going to take a break for now and then after the break we shall carry on he might decline it but I'm not going to ask him <laughs> for nine 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 dollars just in case he says yes 
Right, it's three o'clock. I should be back at four. I'm gonna go grab some food because I am starving. And then we'll see uh, see what happens with this. All right, that's it from me. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you had a nice break. Can't remember where I am. Look at the map. Oh, there we go. Okay, I know where I am now. Uh, thank you for the bits, Liverpool. You ever go to kick to stream? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Seventeen twenty-three. We've finished all our training, haven't we? What's this? Like, who parks a bike like that? That would get so kicked over if you parked a bike like that. Oh, the streaming service kick. God no. No, no, no. Why would I do that? <laughs> Grab that. Hmm. Apple. We'll take an apple. How long before it goes bust, do you think? That's right, I was going to put that girl in training. It's gone 6pm, so I can do that, can't I? Ingrid. So we'll take her off the business. And then we'll train her in customer service. Yes, well remembered. Because then tomorrow evening... Yeah, tomorrow evening we should be good. So we need to basically find a and rent a retail building, 75 square meters and a traffic index of 30. No more than 75 square meters. Does it have to be in a particular place? Retail. To turn a bunch of these things off for school. So it's going next 15, 30, 225. 225, 30. Thinking maybe we have to go outside of this district, I don't know. What's this tax on your game? Just started it and they gave me a pink car instead of a grey one. <laughs> Unlucky, Baz. 96 square meters, brackets F1, whatever that means. even click on that. 589 square meters. Blimey. I don't think this exists, what, what they're on about. A thousand square meters? What? At least 30 traffic index. Getting these numbers from uh, Glenn, thank you for 95 months. I can get 75, it gets 15. To get 30, I need way more than 75. So I don't know. I can't find one. Literally can't find one. Hmm. What do you mean, car icon? Uh, I don't think there is a way to filter it because all we've got is active businesses and then we've got uh, real estate, buildings for sale, which we don't want. 
Uh, and then we've got obviously the wholesale store, which I had highlighted. I turn retail off. Where else have we got turned on? Garment district. Doesn't matter if we turn that on or off. Car icon is traffic. Oh, that! Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying that. Hmm. I see what you're saying. Okay. Do we have to stay inside this district, do you think, or can we go anywhere? Looks like these are all too big. 204 is way too big. The trouble is, I suppose, the further away I go, the more of a pain it's going to be to get there. That one's not bad. Doing fine, thank you, Irvin. Um, Danny Boy, thank you for 87. And Sir Lord Speedy, thank you for two years. It's up to one of the best streamers on Twitch. I'm now a fully grown nutter. <laughs> Enjoy the new badge. That's in Hell's Kitchen neighborhood, as is that. That's too small. That one seems to be appropriate. This one on near Broadway. Because it has 75 meter limit, has 38. Traffic index needs to be 30, so that's a pretty good traffic index. So that's currently the best one, I think, that meets the criteria. And these are all way too big. So I think we've narrowed it down to one building. Well, there is that one. But that one says it's occupied. Oh, that was the wrong one I was clicked on. Yep, so it's got to be that then. The empty building next to your shop is also good. It wasn't good enough, I don't think. It's only a 15 traffic, look. We need 30. So we can't take that. We can't take that because it's too big. We can't take that because it doesn't have enough cars. We can't take that because it's too big. Literally the only one available that meets the criteria is that one. Left of your shop next door. I mean this. It's just too big. It's 225 square meters. It's, it's massive. We, we're limited to 75. No, no, it says maximum 75, not minimum 75. Maximum 75. That's the only one. So the question is, how much does they want for it? Forty-two dollars. No, twelve hundred deposit. Twelve hundred. Okay, so that's. And then we'd need to buy a bunch of stuff. How much money have we got? Five point eight k. That doesn't feel like enough for the amount of equipment we're going to need. I think we're going to have to run a couple more days and make some money. Um, because it's going to cost an industrial grill, which if I remember, there was a big appliance store right over the road from us that should sell things like industrial grills. It's going to see how much they cost. There you go, 1400 for one of them. 
plus a cabinet to sit it on, wherever they are. Cabinet with drawers. 470 plus that, so that's two grand nearly. Then we'd need stock, burgers, and we'd probably need a fridge, I imagine. Fast food restaurants. Stock up the industry grill with burgers. Surely we need a fridge to store the burgers in in the first place. Well, follow the requirements of your store and open it up. <coughs> yeah, I, I think we need more money. Okay. Go to sleep. It's midnight. What am I going to do at midnight? Like, literally, no one's open at midnight. export nightclub do they even have a nightclub where's the IRS bet they're in the city I knew it the biggest building obviously a gym can we open a gym Keep calm and squat on. Gas station, truck garage. Let's go have a look in the truck garage. Did we go in that one? I don't think we did. Alcinor, thank you for four years. Wait, what? Oh, I'm all the way up there. I thought it was here. Uh, I've been miles away from everything. I'm going to get completely lost. I know it was 6k for a van, but I was hoping there was something else. I've not seen any pickup trucks yet. So Lord Speedy, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Speedy. See this engine. Hope that guy in the Porsche doesn't want to get out. No. 
When does it open? It's currently closed, but it doesn't say when it opens. Just goes to sleep with the engine running, as you do. Am I missing something? Oh, it's round the back, you scumbag. It's round the back. Because why would you want a business that opens on the street when you can have a business that you need to drive round the back to get into? Okay, so it's definitely this building. Get in. I am clicking on the highlighted building. Look, that is the highlighted building. Click. Runs over. Something pops up quickly, and then it just. Truck garage. Left click to enter. Let me in. To celebrate two years, wanted to give back a little like people did to me in the nut house. Enjoy, guys. Thank you very much, Speedy. Appreciate that. Thank you for two years. I don't know what's going on, but I can't. What? You, I have to be in a truck to go into a truck stop? Like a truck store? Oh, is that a truck? Hang. So it means garage as in storage, not a truck shop. So how do we find a place that sells trucks? Is that a vehicle shop? Do you have a store, graphic designer? Where do we buy trucks? If not a truck garage. If it's a place for storing trucks, that makes sense. A dealership. Car dealership? Is there a truck dealership? Well, there's two car dealerships where we are. So we have to go to a car dealership to buy a truck. Okay. Try that one. City cars. Hey, there's the pickup. 44 grand? What? How can that be 44 grand when there's like a van down the road for six? How does that work? Even that's 11. There's something weird about the that's two and a half for that one what's this one two and a half 22 grand i don't know why blimey can she do me a part x can, can i get a deal there's another one here general u.s trucks i think this is the one we went into no hang on yeah look these how much do you think these are there was a car back there for 22 grand. Look at this. 
This is six grand. This is that you can get three of these or one of those cars. And I bet you that'll carry more stuff. That's 98. I swear my guy's legs are broken. Let's go to the supermarket and get some more food. Wait, it's eight dollars to park here. What a scumbag. Why is it eight dollars? Don't let me forget to reassign um, what's her face, Ingrid. I bet this won't fit. Oh, yeah, well, because you. <laughs> I remember you, it counts. <laughs> it's funny the way that works. You buy 10 items of food, you put it in one paper bag, you put the paper bag in the car, counts as one slot. Uh, Trixum, thank you for 15 months. Got to get the stuff out of the car. Get me the paper bag. Right, is that in there? Yes. Cool. Lovely. How much have we got? Six grand. Let's crack on and rent that building. Uh, capacity 15, traffic 38. That'll do. So we'll rent that. Start a new business. Okay. So this is going to be... Did he say fast food? I think he said fast food, didn't he? Let's double check that. Open a fast food restaurant as a second business. Okay. Fast food restaurant. Four competitors in the neighborhood. Primary products, burger, french fries, hot dog pizza, salad, and soda can. There is no kebab. Apache, thank you, 58 months. Select that. Business name. And right. I don't, Dave, it's not my fault there's no kebab. Dave, would you stay subbed if I call it Dave's Kebabs? I wonder if I buy you a kebab next time I see. Wow. Okay, we'll call it something else then. We'll call it Dave's Healthy Fruit.
We need a kebab at some point, Dave. We could just call it no kebab. Greek. Let's call it. Got to call it greasy something. Grease, greasy meat. How about that? I mean, it's it's fairly accurate. <laughs> Start business. There we go. Sounds exactly. Sounds perfect. Um. Right, we need to get some stuff. We're going to need an industrial grill. Let's get in the car. We need to head to the appliance thing here. So we need an industrial grill, and we need a cabinet with drawers to put it on, don't we? Industrial freezer. We're going to need a storage shelf. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Business is booming here. Trash bin. Do we need a trash bin? I don't know. We might well do. Why do they sell a large drinks thing, but they don't sell a small one? I can't afford an industrial fridge, but I've got a feeling if you buy a load of burgers and we don't put them in the fridge, they're going to go off. But it's not really telling me what to do. So we'll get that, we'll get that. Cabinets. Stuck up and just to go with burgers. Oh, it's going to just clean me out, this is. Ah, $1,300 left. You what? Why have I got a hot dog grill? Are you serious? Can I sell it? How do I get the money back? Well, that's messed it up. I suppose we could serve hot dogs as well. Since I've messed it up anyway. Let's just leave it. We'll sell hot dogs. Although, I bet you need two people. What do you mean you can't? Right, Ingrid. You're working the Manage your schedule. Oh, boy. Can everyone remember what schedule she was on? Car return, so absolutely brilliant. It's brand new in the box, never put anywhere, and I can't get a refund. I'm telling you, there's consumer law that covers this. What hours was she doing? Was she doing that an hour before? You should be able to copy one day to another cop another day. Oh yeah, five to six clean, that was it. 
she did five to six on cleaning and then that it would be so helpful if I could just go copy paste copy paste no I don't want to share the schedule for all days I don't want to do that That just makes one schedule for every day. That's not what we want. Thursday. Is Thursday a day off? I can't remember. Or was Wednesday? No, Thursday. Thursday was a day off. Then Friday she does the last two hours, if I remember. Or the last hour or something. It works 42 hours a week. So lazy. We could actually bring his hours back a touch and then put her there instead. We could do that. And they're doing 45, 46. That's fairly evenly balanced. I do, Dave. 10 a day. Right, where are we going? Uh, here. I'm not like you, Dave. I don't play games all day. Why can I not go in? Why can we not go in? What the? Why can we not drive the car in? It literally says drive in. That's weird. It literally says drive in, but won't let you. <laughs> All right, let's find the burgers. We could sell soda at some point, but we're skinned. Cupcakes. Let's see flowers, cigars, bottles of wine. Clothing. More clothing. Imagine if you could see the signs before you went in. French fries, gotta be here, isn't it? French fries, salad, hot dog, here we go. Pizza, burger. Do we try and sell hot dogs? Actually, you see, we don't have a fridge. This is my... What the... What? My biggest problem with this is we don't actually have a fridge. So the first lot is going to go inside the grill. The second lot, where does it go? If we put it on a shelf, it's going to go off, right? If you keep it in the boot of the car, it's going to go off. And I don't think we can afford an industrial fridge. Oh, 
not you. I can see it's going back to that lone shark, I really can. And you know they're going to walk in, complain about the floors, complain about the walls, complain about the lack of music. So we need to hire employees. dollars to park in front of this. My hand truck. Welcome to Greasy Meat. It's just like the last place. Um, okay, so we want the... Oh, we're going to need a, a counter, aren't we? Maybe. No, we don't want that. Just put that there for a sec. Uh, no, we don't want that. For a sec. I don't have a counter, do I? Yeah, because uh, I should have bought a cabinet, but I ended up buying a hot dog grill somehow. We're going to have to sleep, get up in the morning, get a loan. That's the only way. We have to get a big loan. Yep, we're going to the cash register. I think. I think. I assume. Let's go and see that dodgy loan shark. How much should we get? I'm thinking like 5k should do it. I don't know. Harry Potter, I do not know. I mean, feasibly, yes, but if it's take away food joint, then maybe not. Oh, they only start work at 8. Good to know. Going to the bar, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Think you could in your Porsche? Uh, uh, uh. Hi, I'd like a new loan, please. Could I borrow another five thousand? Could definitely help you with that. I'll have the full amount transferred to your bank right away. Didn't even have to plead. Obviously, we're a good investment, right? He knows it. 
It's like, this guy's going places. I can tell by the outfit. Suit and shorts, you know. Industrial grill, industrial grill, hot dog grill, cabinet with drawers. That's what we wanted. Do we need anything else out of here? Mm -hmm. I need two cabinets. One for the for each hot dog, yeah? I don't know if it's worth getting a storage rack because I don't think we can just put burgers and hot dogs onto a shelf unrefrigerated. It doesn't make any sense. I'm thinking we'll need a fridge. Jeez, that is a big shelf. Jewelry floor showcase. How does this keep happening? What the? I just want another cabinet. Seriously, why can't... <laughs> I bought a cabinet from here... And then it changed it to a jewellery floor showcase. And now I can't buy another cabinet. I must have got the last one. Cabinet with drawers. There we go. No, I got a product panel. Cabinet with drawers. Hey! That is the dodgiest click ever. Honestly, that needs sorting out. That's ridiculous. Right, so we've got that. Let's get back. Where do we get the cash machine from? That was a... That little retailer there, I think, wasn't it? Why do I need three cabinets? Oh my god. This fun never ends. Cabinet with drawers. Okay, we're good for cabinets now. One click, Dave. Just one click, mate. Right, appliances. Okay, so we've got a cash register. We've got a, a drinks fridge. A standard fridge. Ah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Is it worth trying to buy a standard fridge to put burgers in, do you think? Right, 
one cash register. Do we buy a fridge or not? Is that where we keep our stock? Logically, it makes sense, but I don't know if the game's going to behave that way. Ah, freezer costs a fortune. It says Bisman inside what? It says Bisman inside for all the requirements. Open up Bisman Insight to see requirements. Cash register, minimum one product. That's all. That's it. That's the requirement. According to the wiki, it says you can still just store the burgers on the shelf for now. Okay. So we can just buy a shelf. So... Do we need anything else from here? Apart from a storage shelf. Ooh. Ooh. And a cleaning station. I don't know if we can carry all this in the car. How much stuff have we got in the car? Okay, let's have a look what we got. We have three cabinets, a cash register, an industrial grill. I don't know why I've still got that here. A storage shelf, a cleaning station. That's it. I think that's all we need. Apart from an employee. For that, we need to go and find the recruitment place. There. Where's the recruitment place? There he is. We'll go and kick that off. Oh yeah, you can just call them, can't you? Forgot about that. Um, how do we call them again? He's on the phone or something. Contacts. Anderson call. Right, so we want somebody to come and work at Greasy Meat. Customer service is the main thing. I think we probably want... Probably want to do the same thing again, don't we? We want two people, really. Maybe we should hire three. On the basis that one will be rubbish. Fifteen hundred. What do you mean no? So I'm paying rent, dude. I need to open quickly. Time's money, friend. Wow, that's a powerful car. Can't believe it costs eight dollars just to park here. It's an outrage.
cleaning station. What was this? Industrial grill. Right. Um, cash machine. We'll do what we did last time. Love that there. Wait a minute. Does somebody need to be working at the burger thing? I bet they do. Oh my god, we're going to need loads of employees. I bet you need one to sell burgers, one to sell hot dogs, and one on the cash machine. I bet you do. I might just go with the burgers initially. Remove content hot dog. need to register they collect the food so, so which way does the arrow need to point then does the arrow need to point the other way do I need to do it like that because it will all, it always wants to go that way maybe that's why ah there you go That's loaded. It's done that thing. It's done that thing. I knew it. When I right click that cash register. Look at that. It's a weird bug and when you play stuff, it locked me out again. But when I pick something up and put it down, it unlocked. Okay, so that's ready to go, isn't it? paper bags I'll have to go and buy some another trip to the wholesale too late now we haven't got the employees yet anyway so it's fine let's go and sleep jumped out on me. What a madman. Yeah, I think, I don't know why you need paper bags. Exactly. Three seven one profit. Why has that gone down? Oh, we're 
I got bigger loans and more rent. That explains it. Uh, Jody Raccoon, thank you for 73. Was that eight? Of course it was. Yeah, what you want is like a takeaway box or something. Right, is there anything else we need? <laughs> Two hot dogs. Wait, no, 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 no. Should start getting CVs shortly. Oh, man, he sped up. He was going to move. It's down to thirty seven percent. See you later, Evan. Is it this one a car? Yeah, we could do the van anyway, but we'll get a loan for that as well. How much does it cost to repair your car anyway? I reckon we can open for business and just man it ourselves for now. We should get some CVs shortly. But at least that way we could, was it Saturday? What's our schedule look like? We're opening Saturday. 
We'll just do like a um, 10 hour thing while it's just us doing it. And then we'll uh, open. See what we can do. You got two businesses now, huh? <laughs> I think that's what the media calls a serial entrepreneur. What's Very going? nice work. I'll let you get back to it. And I'll catch up with you later, kid. Ah. I do want to spin them round. So they come to the cashier, then he goes and bags it for them. Flipping heck, how much stuff is she buying? What was those like three burgers and two hot dogs? Is that all for you? Wow. Interesting. You can I can't find a place to sit down, she said. Hmm. They want it so we're gonna need a bin. Yeah. Customer satisfaction's gonna be bad. Well, at least we're generating some money. I tell you what, stock is going to go down pretty rapid. We're going to need a lot more stock than this. Look at the queue. Literally, we're going to need two cashiers. Oh my god. This is absurd. We need to... Right, okay, so I'm going to put the cashier in the middle. And have the hot dog on the left, burgers on the right, facing in. Yeah, I might have to do that. I might have to go into the other store. It's we don't open on Sunday, so we can we can sort things out on Sunday. Hopefully, we get some CVs through as well. We're gonna have to spend some money and get some tables and chairs as well. It's the worst restaurant you've ever seen. What's so bad about it? Right, contacts. Here we go. Recruitment agency. Find your new candidate. 47% customer service. 10 to 30 hours. How lazy are you? Four days a week? Do you want a job? Oh, what? Come on. That's just utter junk. I can't work with this. I need like 50 people. The official James, thank you for 66 months. You're about to hear this from its original source. Port, you are a lag end. Thank you very much. Yeah, this sucks. 10 to 30 hours, I mean... Oh. They can do weekends. They don't want to work weekends. You work 32 hours, four days a week. This person only wants to work 10 to 30. I mean, what choice do I have here? I have to hire all of them, aren't I? Right, you get in the uniform. They're all they're all gonna wear tat uniform. I don't care where they work, they're wearing tat. You're working at greasy meat, you're working at greasy meat. Greasy meat schedule. Well, This guy wants no weekends. I mean, it says nice to have. It doesn't actually say critical. It just says nice to have. Part-time is critical, so they only want to do 10 to 30 hours. But they will work weekends. They, they just don't want to, really. This one's important to only work four days a week, so we have to respect that. I don't think we have to respect that weekend one. It's in green, look. A 
On Bismon, you can see how much footfall capacity every item on your shop has. You'll be bottlenecked by whatever the lowest capacity product is. Yeah, I'm still waiting for a CV to come through. We've, we've only had two out of three, yeah. I'll have to wait for the schedule, I think. Capacity. 20 out of 15. 30 out of 15. So we, are we basically saying there's no point trying to serve hot dogs and burgers? Because, let's face it, what like burgers alone generates enough we may as well shut down the hot dog stand there's no point having it you can only get as many customers per hour as your capacity allows increasing a balance the amount of available points of sale so yeah that's that's broken isn't it same with this look like, we're selling all these things, and it's completely pointless, because we just can't get the footfall. Yeah, the, the shop, like, the shop itself is limited. When you look on the map, um, you see that number there. You can't, you can't get more than 15 footfall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in that queue. Increase the price is probably not a bad show. Uh, inventory and pricing. So burgers, our burgers are six dollars. Our hot dogs, our hot dogs are four because they're premium. Premium burgers. We'll start, We'll do that. We'll just go for high value stuff. That'll bring the numbers down. Lower the demand. There you go. The queue's getting smaller. <laughs> it's okay to have multiple products. Uh, yeah. But if you look at, like, we might as well put the prices up here as well because we've got 15 out of 15, 15 out of 15, 20 out of 15. I think we put the price up of our cheap gifts, but we make it 19 99 because that sounds cheaper. Let's see if we can price them out of soda. The inflation is real. There's no way we're going to have enough stock left. At the end of the day, this stock's going to be cleaned out. There we go. We've got another worker. Uh, critical 30 to 50 hours, finally. Finally, we've got somebody that wants to work. No night shifts is a nice to have. Okay, you are definitely hired. Okay, let's do a schedule for this lot. I think we can... Oh, we can't do that, can we? Because we've got a weekend person. Who's not that bothered about weekends. But we can't do a seven day schedule because they only want to work four days. Why doesn't it tell you the hours they want here? They're all leaving. Must be the end of the day. Or we've sold out. Or we've just really annoyed everybody. Everybody literally just left and I don't know why. Also. 
I can't walk around again. I've got that walking bug where I can't walk. I think it's because I changed this and, and it closed us basically. Yeah, it's because I did that, basically. It shut the shop. Okay, Monday to Friday, then. Uh, what does our schedule look like? No, it's not paused. I just can't, I can't move. Look, I had this bug earlier. I fixed it by moving some stuff around, and it seemed to... It's something to do with this hand truck. It's still working. Okay. That needs to go there. No. That can go there. That should help. We have 200 burgers and 100 hot dogs in stock. We'll pause it and get the schedule done. Uh, Peter Bert Amsterdam, thank you for 75. We do need tables and chairs, but I'm going to have to go and buy them, aren't I? I I'm going to have to go to the shop and buy some. I think this is more important. Let's set up... Um, actually, the weekend schedule will set up first, I think. Let's do Sunday. Put the stands in a V so the cashier doesn't have to move at all. I could put them in a circle. So you could just like turn like that. You know what I mean? Like if you bring that forward to here and then rotate that around like that. So they should be able to just stand here and spin, and the queue can come from here. That's the toilet, so we better not block the toilet. You kind of want the queue to be far back here, don't you? Can he still get one? No. Okay, so that's too much. There you go. That should work. Uh, B sharp, thank you for a year. Right, Sunday, how many hours can we get away with? This guy will do, is it 30 to 50? And they do 10 to 30. So that's a total, let's say, 10 to 50. So you can do 50, 30, 30. That's 110 divided by 7. We should be able to do something around 10 hour days, maybe more. So you want your burger joints to open late, really. I think. So we could try like a 10 till 10 schedule. I saw what we could do. US burgers at 10 in the morning. What? Loads of people. Have you never had pizza at 10 a.m.? I have. Q 
Okay, I don't know who's going to do cleaning, but let's say... Who's the guy that didn't want to do weekends? Nice to have no weekends. Four days. So we want this guy in the four-day pattern. I think you want to be cleaning at the end, don't you? So I think you want to be... Like, he can stay late and do an hour's cleaning kind of thing. He can do all his hours up front, like that. So he's going to do all his hours in four days, which means he can do... Uh, well, he needs to do 30, so he needs to do 7 hours a day, roughly, which is about right for him. So we can do this kind of pattern. For Thursday to Sunday. Lewis didn't want night shifts. He, he classed night time as 10pm, didn't he? Okay, so we've got to let him go. In that case, then, we'll... we'll flick it around we'll flick it around so that it's he can do like that and then he can do the cleaning at the end this is a bit janky this what's going on Why can't I not drag that down though? Literally won't put it over here. For some reason it won't let me put Warren down though. Do that then, yeah? You've got six hours. Ten till sixteen runs. Six hours there, one hour cleaning. And he can do that. Again, I'd love a copy paste. He can do that. He can pick up the slack. We don't need that. He will do 30, so we'll max out his 30 there. Or we could get him to do... ...28 days, so on Saturday and Sunday... ...why don't you swap slightly? Right, so he's doing his full 38 hours. He's only doing it over four days. He's happy. This guy is not working in the night shift, and he'll do 30 to 50, so plenty more hours left for him. Yeah, Lewis will work up till 10 p.m., then it classes it as late. Rosemobile, thank you for 84 months. Lewis wants more hours. Yes. Well, that lets us stay open. I mean, we can, we can add more hours in later here. Well, I'm just trying to get a basic schedule going. So this guy was 10 to 30. Uh, nice to have no weekends. So Monday, you can come in and do an hour's cleaning. Then we'll split your time. Lewis, like that.
Tuesday, you can do the same. Uh, Wednesday. Okay, so that would leave us. That leaves us with this person nine hours short of their maximum. This person ten hours short of their maximum. This guy doesn't want to work late though. So if you want to work later, we can bring Dana in. So if you want to go for like a weekend, we can have Dana come in on a weekend. If you want to extend our day. And do more time that way. Because he doesn't want to work night shifts. So Saturday, Sunday. We could extend it out to midnight. Get rid of him. Bring him into there. It's 28 hours for him. And Sunday. Put him on there. He's now on 35, so we need to nick some time back from Dana earlier in the week. Give it to Lewis. I oh, didn't want weekends at all, did he? That's the problem, yeah. That's a problem. Okay, so in that case, we have to swap these around. Because Danny didn't want to do weekends. So you'll have to work down there. And then you could do the cleaning afterwards, maybe. No? Why is it better to hire separate cleaners then? Okay, so where are we at now? Because cleaners become very good at just cleaning. You pay them per hour anyway, and a cleaner will have a much higher cleaning stat than other staff. We don't have any cleaners, though. So if you say higher cleaning employees, what does that do? Because we, we haven't hired anybody who's a cleaner. So what will this do if I tick that box? Do you want us to schedule cleaning in, or will they just auto-magically do it? Just gives you CVs of people with a high cleaning stat. The trouble with cleaners is, don't you just have to bring them in for like one hour or something stupid? Oh, I see. That's just uh So we have to literally hire cleaners separately. Okay, for now they can do it. That's fine. So he's on almost on his 30. He's almost on his 30. He's still got some leeway. 
So he can probably keep the thing open. Who didn't want to work late? No night shifts. Okay. You can work late on a Friday. Yeah, we'll have to hire a cleaner. That'll be the next job then. Friday, uh, you could work an extra two hours if you want to max out your stats. Or you could split it with this person here. You can even do more of Monday or Tuesday. I mean that that works. We've got we could get more hours out of this guy. We could swap some hours for these dudes. I mean it doesn't really matter, does it? No, they're just paid by the same the same rate. Uh, okay, let's give that a go. Generated daily profits of five hundred per business. Per business, dude, that's not going to happen. Oh wow, there's people here already. Blimey. Okay, let's just watch it a second. Then we'll have to go and buy some furniture. Okay, that's a bit more efficient. We need some paper bags and some places to sit and a and a bin. What's that mean? What's that symbol mean? Does that mean it's missing something? Hmm. How do we clean up? how much we're charging for this as well. Okay, let's um, jump in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy stock. I'm going to have to buy places to sit, paper bags, bins, like the whole thing. Snack. Imp, thank you for 55 months. How are you doing? I don't know what time I selected. I'm 
1,340 profit. That's not bad. It's a bit better. So, did you get a call from the bank? They must be shocked to see what's happening with your account while <laughs> the way it's growing. You should find yourself a nicer apartment and buy yourself some really nice furniture. You deserve it. Is he trying to tell me how to spend my money now? Buy a desk, a chair, and a computer. Place the desk in your apartment. No! I'm not, I'm not doing that yet. No. I'm going to focus on the business, not start playing video games. Got to go to the wholesaler. Got to get some stuff. I could do with a van, because my car's not big enough. Just run that red light. <gasps> Somebody open, 8 a.m. Hang on, let's do donuts around the car park. How do I get my car repaired, by the way? Because I think I should. Car dealership, maybe? Go to a gas station. Um... Gas station. Are you serious? What, the nearest gas station is here? <laughs> There's one down here. It's probably the nearest. I need a bit of panel beating doing, I think. It's not load up directly into the car. Do I literally have to get out and do this? Right, paper bags. That should take care of the basics of inventory. Waiting in queue. What queue? It's more of a business tycoon sim. Oh my god. I slowed down for the van and got hit by the car. Brilliant. There you go. 
600 and car repairs. I definitely need to drive more carefully. It's coming out the profit, that is. Right, let's go and drop these off. Yeah, if we can get up to 6k, we can get a van. We're going to need a van soon. We can cope with the car for now, but it's more running around. I mean, most of this damage wasn't even caused by me. It was like people driving into me or stopping when they shouldn't. See, like that? That guy just tried to ram me. Wait, there's nobody here? That's interesting. 11.40 a.m. and nobody's here. Does nobody want burger at this time of day or have we just priced ourselves out of the market? Maybe our prices are a bit too high. Oh, that's customers. Customers spawned in the corner of the building. I'm not having that. There we go. There's a queue now. I think maybe they only start at midday. There might be a lesson though, you know. We might have to change the working hours. Why can I not fit through that gap? Right, let's go and get some furniture. Um, if we want to buy furniture, we would better go into Ikea or to a furniture store, which is Ikea. Car dealership we don't need. Turn that off. Is that what it is, Dave? Whoa! Jeez, man. Do you want the whole junction? Yeah, but Dave, I heard you can eat as many kebabs as you like as long as you have like an apple or a banana once a day. Then it counts as it all. That's what somebody said on the internet. So it's true. Is this Ikea? Are we allowed to park there? Chair. That's what we need some table and chairs. They're way too expensive. Don't need office chairs. What are these? Hundred dollar regular chairs. Have we got anything cheaper than that? It's for eating burgers off. We don't need anything posh. Hundred dollars. Miggy, thank you for subbing. Uh -huh. 
It looks like all the chairs are $100, like, no matter what style they are. Right, so the next question is, how do you load up on quite a few items? How many can a flatbed carry? Okay, so these are just as uncontrollable as the real thing. I'm not buying the computer, dude. I reckon, uh, how do you, what do you think, we just get a table and six chairs like that, and then they can all just sit around it, and be, be friendly and talk to each other. Get one of them, table, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. That'll fit in the car, won't it? You need specific restaurant booths. Wait, what? Why? What does that mean? You saw dinosaur booths. Do they have to be that way? Do you have to use booths or can you not use these? Because IKEA doesn't sell those. Do we need to buy Dana boots, or will this do? There might be a difference between home and business furniture. Dino boots, one of the supply shops, but when I played this, they weren't required. I use normal tables. Right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to save it there, just in case this turns out to be a massive waste of money. We'll see what happens. That's $900, but seats six people. Let's see what happens. Bin experiment. I should have got a bin as well from someone. Oh, it just fits straight in. So. I wish I had a compass somewhere. Fast food restaurant. Yeah. I'll be going home shop. Can I just go in my own store and have a burger? That would be a completely logical thing to do, wouldn't it? Just go in and buy one of my own burgers. Right. 
Well, I don't want to remove content. I want to buy a burger. I literally can't buy one of my own burgers. This is the best burger place you've ever been to. Not that stupid booth thing. This is the real deal. find a place to sit down the same something tells me oh wait wait a minute hold the phone they sat down Alrighty then. We solved another problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't find a place to put my trash. Dude, do you ever stop complaining? Go outside, there's a bin outside. We're going to need to buy a bin next. to check our business pricing see how many units we're selling right you need to eat before you die I don't know if the boots are cheaper I have no idea it might well be that they're a lot cheaper who knows? Right. Let's have a look at pricing and stuff. So they don't like the interior. We know that. They don't like customer service. We know that. We need to train people. We need to buy stuff. Uh, inventory and pricing. What was the... 20 out of 15. Hot dogs, 30 out of 15. So the hot dogs, as far as I can tell... Capacity per hour, 15. So I'm not really sure what this is telling us. Is this a per hour number or not? Is that basically saying that I need to jack the price on the hot dogs? I think it is. So I, I think we need the $6 hot dog and the seven fifty burger, I'm thinking. You can serve 20 burgers an hour, but your store is max one. That's, that's not bad. That's doing pretty good. Pricing for that seems to be fairly correct, I think. The usual Mrs. Squirrel in store with me and doesn't even tell me. Yeah, I get the other building limit of 15. 
Is that basically saying we're trying to solve 15 out of 15 just on flowers and we can't because we've got a 15 building limit? It just seems a bit dumb to me. I mean, surely one customer is buying more than one thing. Like, I literally saw, right at the start, I saw the employee get two burgers and three hot dogs for one client, for one customer, which means the footfall 15 per hour is 15 people, but not necessarily 15 products, because they might buy a few items. You see, I don't think that's true, Synesthesia. I think you could sell 15 flowers and 15 gifts per hour if each customer bought one of each. I don't think that's the limit. It's the limit for the equipment. So the, the cash machine can handle 15 per hour. But the customer could buy a few things in one transaction, couldn't they? What, I mean, if you put two cashiers inside the building, you're still limited by 15 per building, aren't you? Which is dumb. Fire laws, yeah, clearly. It's clearly fire regulations. Mm. Right, let's get some. Um, we need a bin and we need. What else did I say we needed? These guys had bins. Is that one? There we go. Trash bin. Aha. They've got somewhere to sit, they're buying food, they need a bin, we need to decorate as well. To be aware of is that your burgers are bought 50 now, but the hot dog's only 10. What? That's how you guarantee that you can pull out. <laughs> I'm front of that with those. He just did that to me, just ran me straight into a copper. Okay, I may have gone a little off piece here. 
It took 10%. That cost me $60 right there. What is this? It's like the Lark de Triumph. Look at that, down the inside line. the building I want. God, it's all the way over there. Got myself entirely lost then. Do you know what? When all's said and done, it's probably cheaper to just get a taxi. The time you've paid for all the damages. Traffic is trolling me now. I've not been here before. I think this is the posh end. I've not been here. Joe's Hot Dogs? Wait, what? Right next to me? Joe's... Right, okay. Petrol bomb. How dare Joe open a hot dog stand? How's business? How's it looking? It's good? should check out the uh, maybe Joe was undercutters I think that's what happened 42 burgers stock count that's getting low that is that's getting real low I think I have to do a stock run for burgers And we can nearly pay off a loan. Exactly, yeah. That's what we should do. Get the health inspector to call in, like, to get him investigated for, like, bad hygiene. Discredit Joe. Well, greasy meat is, you know, it's greasy burger, but that's what people want. But at least it's hygienic burger. Whereas Joe's is like low fat, but just makes people ill, you know? Questions have been asked. Well, we don't know what they're made from. That's that's what needs investigating. Do you know what? We should start selling soda down there as well, really. It's not worth it, though, is it? This is the dumb thing. Like, if you start selling soda as well, you'll hit your max cap.
Well, if it was my shop, we'd be selling coke. You only find Pepsi in cheap places. Oh, I don't like this. No customers at four in the afternoon. This isn't good. There's, no, there's literally nobody coming here. I think Joe might be winning. I'm busy stocking up and we're not going to sell anything. I think it it did last time it took time to spawn them last time but this time I think there's just nobody here oh they didn't buy anything they walked in looked at the price and went Oh, hell no. And <laughs> walk back out again. Okay, so that's too much. We've learnt that much. So four ninety nine it is. Six forty nine. Let's see if we can do any better with that. Okay. At least we're selling again. You see, I think what was happening before is our prices were so good that Joe was sending people in to buy our stuff and then selling it down the road for more money. Okay, that's what we want. Sustainable customers. See, now there's too many. Look at them putting stuff in the bin. They're so nice. to design this, aren't we? Let's go for the modern look. 2,800? Are you serious? That's like... We're making two and two eight a day profit. Mm. Two eight just for the floor. Mm. And all right, we might as well have a band van for that. It's just stupid. Mm. It's three hundred to make a wall red. Okay, it's nice and quiet in here. We need some music, really. But they're not really complaining about music. Maybe we just don't get customers in the morning and they actually... It being a fast food place. I'm not paying that much for a hot dog. I saw that. I saw that. So that is definitely on the cusp of what they're willing to pay. The hot dogs are almost gone. Are they going to auto-replenish them? Yes. Yes, he does. I tried that. That's something until, but when I clicked on it, it wouldn't... It just got that option, see? The walls are so ugly. I'm not going to go in that place. Said no one ever. Mm. 
There you go. They're not ugly now. They're a very different shade of grey. close. It's doing the GTA thing, you know where it spawns cars that are deliberately on an intersection with you. Five six nine. We went from two and a half thousand to five six nine profit. Oh my god. I think that this schedule or this I think it should run later. I think it should start at midday and run like well into midnight. Also, we're going to have to train these people. And the problem is, when do they have a day off? So, what day is it? It's Tuesday today. Who's off on Wednesday? So, Wednesday, both Dana and Warren do not work on Wednesday. Which means there's an opportunity to train Dana and Warren tomorrow, but we'd have to remember their schedule, which would be a right pain. I'm just trying to remember the schedule is just annoying. There's no way to save it. You select the person working at the cashier, not the cashier itself, right? I'm going to have to photograph my screen. <laughs> I don't think that hiring more staff is going to help. All right, that's Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. That's the schedule photographed. Tuesday, 6.34, right. So Wednesday, we can basically train Warren and Dana as our employees. Warren, 47% Dana. So they're pretty good. Customer satisfaction is not bad here. 53% service. They do not like the pricing of our hot dogs and burgers. 
they don't like the pricing at all. The interior is like meh, and the customer service is pretty bad. Well, you can see the customers over time here, so we've got some kind of metric. We dropped off a lot of customers when we made those pricing changes. Let's come back a touch. Yeah, pricing 100%, but we've dropped off a load of customers for some reason at the gift shop. I don't know why. Could be day of the week, yeah. Let's try that. Buy a desk, a chair, and a computer. Ikea. I think IKEA only opens at like 10 or something stupid. How can the people already be inside when I just walked in? Literally as it opened. Right, a desk, a chair, and a computer. Let's see what we've got. What are we going for? AMD, Intel? Uh, is that more like an office thing. Here you go. Something like that. $800, $900, $1,200. $1, like, literally, the chair costs more than the computer. What? Oh yeah, you just thought you'd buy one, did you? Computer, uh, no. three grand. That's a day's profit right there. We're gonna go back. We're gonna play video games for an hour. What about that, eh? Nobody else uses a trolley. Like, everybody else just carries the box around. Nah, we could have bought a cheap chair, but if you buy a gaming chair, it makes you better at games. Everybody knows that. See, I, I was saying that, Dos Warris. I was saying we need to get into jewellery. People are laughing at me, but you're making 70k a day. Jewellery's where it's at. Wow.
Right, that's going to give us a happiness boost for 25% for seven hours, apparently. What's he playing? I can't see. I can't see what he's playing. It looks... It's either Fortnite or Big Ambitions. I'm not sure. He's playing Skyline 2. What, has he got ac early access? I hope you're having fun, huh? That's what it's all about. And speaking of which... I assume you're starting to get pretty bored of stocking those shelves in your stores manually, right? Well, you should visit the manager in one of the wholesale stores. I'm sure they can provide deliveries, too. That sounds good. Set up a delivery contract for your gift shop. At NY Distro Inc. Okay. NY Distro. That's NY, isn't it? We don't even need a fan. Well, look at this. Now yeah, you're not blocking me in this time, pal. How do we set this up then? Set up a delivery contract for your gift shop at NY Distro. I bet we don't even need to be here. Start a contract. Select a business. Right, tats all folks. Did it four hundred dollars? Hang on a minute. That's coming out the profit. We're only making 500 a day. Are you... A <laughs> Seriously? <coughs> Configure the delivery contract to deliver at least one box of cheap gifts per week using Bizman deliveries. How? We're not, we haven't got the options for this. I don't, I don't understand what it's asking me to do here. It's saying I can configure a contract to deliver at least one box, but at the moment I'm getting no option. And then it says using Bizman deliveries, I'm getting no option for that either. Right, okay. So we want cheap gifts. 745 a box. My God. We, I'd literally rather drive there and do it myself. Cheap flowers. Box of that. You see, it's only worth getting it. Like, can we not have a contract where they also go to go to like our other business? <laughs> like, just go out and deliver a load of stuff. Drop here, drop here. Once you unlock logistics, you can set up your own warehouse and delivery drivers. Much better. Man, this is just a convenience thing. This. 
Right, so every Friday, we'll get a bunch of deliveries. Okay. Well, let's get back to your business again. Because you still have a lot to learn, kiddo. Things are going great. Oh, yeah. But there are a lot of potential customers out there who never heard about your stores. So it's time to start marketing. Well, that sounds great. But I'm running out of money. <laughs> Start a contract. Greasy meat. They can have a Friday delivery of burgers and hot dogs. How many do you reckon we can store on that shelf? Do you reckon we get through six in a week or more? That might be okay. I don't I don't know how many we sell per week. It's like it it's kinda hard to work out. Sixteen boxes per shelf, okay. This stage is probably not worth a phone delivery fee. You can restock yourself once per week. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna cancel that one. Um, deliveries. That doesn't feel like it's worth it, but maybe we can swallow the 400. Don't know. It, it feels like for the amount of money we're making at the gift shop, 400 is a lot to pay. Whereas the other place, the burger place, that was doing two and a half grand a day at one point. I can easily swallow 400 a week. It doesn't econ over you. Okay, so what does it tell me how many boxes I'm selling per week? Oh, this is where you pay off your loan. I did wonder. Yeah, this is like just gives you a dodgy transactional breakdown, but it's not terribly useful. Although it does show you greasy meat going from minus 42 to 700 to plus 1800. And then down to 124 because I completely broke the pricing. Like that's terrible profit. That's really bad. Yeah, I think they need to start surfacing more information. Feels like you struggle to see what you're paying for stuff, what your margins are. Like, there's a lot of information missing. Run a marketing campaign. Right, how do we run a marketing campaign? Insider. So look at the demand for burgers, and yet we we just like can't shift them. It's weird. Maybe we need to go and see a marketing company or something. You get to your own slogans.
day is it? Tuesday. Thirteen in the profit. It's not as good as it has been, but it's better than it was. Eight hundred on greasy meat. That old time I of eighteen hundred, man. What happened to those days? Maybe the prices are still too high. Maybe the six dollar burgers where it's at. No, I've not been into Joe's actually. We should go and check out the competition, shouldn't we? Fifteen dollars to park here. What is this place? It's like Stansted Airport. Oh, you only open at eight? Okay, I guess I'll have a jog around the park then. It's a bit swish, isn't it, as you would expect? Hi, agent number one. Welcome to McCain's email e-marketing. What type of... Oh, so just going to spam their inbox. Well, I'd like you to um, promote Greasy Meat with a small internet campaign for $100. Medium for $250. What are they going to do? SEO optimization? They're going to put Facebook ads out. That's what they're going to do. Oh, guys, it's Wednesday. I forgot to do the employee thing. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. I should have done it last night. Oh, I totally forgot. Wednesday. It only starts at 10, though. Dana Warren. We've got enough time to do this. Dana is not assigned... Warren is not signed. You should answer your phone. Um, let's see. Greasy me will go small internet campaign, hundred dollars. Tick the box. No options. Beautiful. Hey, make sure you keep the popularity very high for all your businesses. Sometimes you might have to spend more money on marketing to get the same results as you got before because the market changes every day. And by the way, I'm planning to visit my home, my vacation home in Costa del Sol. But when I get back, this is what I hope to see, that you've increased your daily income. It's time to take your empire to the next level, but we need more money first. So we need to start selling expensive gifts rather than... Are we gonna still call it Tats all folks though? Is it just expensive tat? I kind of need to not have a contract. If we're going to be changing what they sell. Go on. There's no point selling cheap gifts there, is there? I don't know, should we, like, I don't know, Baz, should we sell cheap gifts and cheap flowers, or expensive gifts and cheap gifts? Like, what's making the money? It's 
So it tells us here we'll make a 600 profit out of that place. Expensive gifts is a thousand dollars a box. Thousand dollars a box. That's insane. I think I'm just going to cancel that contract and just we'll do it manually. Hang on, I need to turn around. Have a look in Joe's hot dogs. Oh yeah, of course you like mega posh. But look at the furniture. It's exactly what I was using. It's none of that what people are on about with the boots. It's literally what I've got. Yeah, yeah, you've got a fancy plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soda can. Hot dog. Make your employees walk. Waste of space. Why is there a plant there? That's a waste. Yeah, you got more bins than we do. Good for you. I mean, look at the size of the place. Can't compete with that. It doesn't tell you, though, how much they're selling it for. They close at 10 p.m. So if they close at 10 p.m., well, oh, God, there's nobody in here we close later, we're going to get all that traffic. Hmm. Hello, welcome to Greasy Meat. How can we help you? Look how efficient our employee is. He doesn't have to move. None of this walking around. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind a counter there and there, though. Mm. Mm. I love the way they take a bag, go to the table, get the food out, eat it, then carry the bag to the bin. It's brilliant. It's still not super busy, though, is it? Well, we could have drinks fridge, but it's more... More stuff, isn't it? Yeah, why has it not got the outfit on? It's a good question. Why does he not have the outfit on? It's a, it's a reasonable footfall. Like the queue never goes to zero. Maybe the advertising marketing campaign's working. Ooh. They got a delivery coming tomorrow, don't they? So I need to know, like, how many hot dogs per day are you using? How many boxes do we need?
See, it's weird. It's like when you walk out, walk back in, everybody inside gets reset. Six boxes. Do they go through a box a day? Not sure. Someone said there is should be item sold last seven days in the inventory and pricing tab. And here. Sold in the last seven days, twelve hundred and ninety seven. Yeah, but what what did we sell? That's the problem. It says sold in the last seven days. Paper bags two eight eight. <gasps> we haven't got delivery of paper bags. 700 so we need at least seven boxes of them at least three boxes of them do we do paper bags 60 paper bags. What do we sell paper bag wise? 300 paper bags. And there's 60 each ones. We need five boxes of them. That is pizza. I'm going to get eight boxes of burgers. Okay, well that gives us some metric to go off. So then that means in the gift shop... We're doing 367 cheap gifts, hardly any flowers. I think we sack the flowers. We sack the soda. It's not worth it. In fact, I think we should pick up the soda machine and bring it over to the burger joint. Get rid of the flowers completely. Put the expensive gifts in there. Makes a better use of um, the space. Yeah, it's not like going for jewelry. Yeah, I don't think. Five thousand paper bags. Did I? Deliveries. Oh, there are a thousand each. Yeah, because I think I was looking at pizza and it said sixty. I forgot where I am now. Wrong way. Grab a trolley. Remove that. How do we drop that into here? Have 
we got any soda on here, I wonder. We do indeed. Twenty-one sheep flowers. So what we could do is run the stock out of flowers. We've got a few cheap gifts left. Just run that stock out. Be done with it. Mm. And we can change that to um, expensive gifts. And then get a stock delivery. Can we call those people? NY Distro. Call them. Start a contract. Wednesday. Let's do Friday. They're probably sold out by Friday. Uh, if we do cheap gifts and we do expensive gifts, we sold cheap 367 in the week. So there's 200 in that. So we get two boxes. Don't know how many then we'll sell, but let's say two boxes and then we'll have some paper bags. One, bonk, one box of paper bags. That's four grand. I don't even think we'll have the cash for that by Friday. I think we'll just go with one box of them. <laughs> Be lucky if we've got three grand by then. Probably won't sell as many anyway. We might need to get a loan. Loan. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping we'll have the money by tomorrow. If not, I'll have to get a loan. <laughs> we'll see what the cash situation's like tomorrow. I need upgraded brakes. direction uh oh Whoosh. Combine them. You should probably add soda cans to the um, delivery. Gotta get that. Well, that's just scumbaggery. That in that case, hang on. Remove content. Place on the ground. Get that. Put that there. Uh -huh. Pick that up. Put it in there. <coughs> Drinks fridge is full. I don't seems the storage doesn't work.
I don't know, I can't seem to put this into storage though. I'm not paying that much for a burger. I saw that. Just click the shelf. What does that do? Alert. Soon runs out of burgers. They're not wrong. We don't have any burgers left. I'll just put it on the floor then, you stupid game. We need an emergency burger delivery. And it's 9pm, it's too late. I'm not sure another register will help because of the footfall limit. I really don't know if it will work or not adding a second cashier. I don't think it will. two boxes of soda. Because like every store has a limit of customers per hour and you can't exceed it. So it doesn't matter if you have 10 tills in there, you won't sell more than 15 per hour customers. However, one customer can order multiple items. I reckon they're already out of, um... Oh, why have I come here? I didn't want to come here. I don't know why I've gone here. No employee signed because it didn't tell me! I've got the pain of this now. Wait, what? She's still training at 10am? Hang on a minute. I started training at like 9am. Oh well, we've probably got no burgers anyway. Um... How can they be training? Car was still moving. Yeah, you want me to go gamble in the casino, but.
We're businessmen, we're not gamblers. Sorry, business pals. That wasn't my fault. There's plenty of room. Discount market. work until they um, slackers have been trained you're go going into a sad period of no eating is it me wait were they training for one days or two I don't need to sleep, I need to eat. Can I not just serve myself a burger? It's got nothing to do- fruit just gives you less food. Apparently I can't just grab myself a burger, I have to go and buy a burger from Joe's Hot Dogs. This is how ridiculous this is. We own a burger joint, but I have to come here and buy a $3 hot dog. Is that what he's selling it for? $3. Interesting. Aha. <laughs> I went to the front of the queue, ordered a hot dog, and he went, there's the queue. Let's <laughs> walk to the back again. I mean, this is like we're testing out how good our competition is. Alright, waiting time's too long. Rubbish. You're too sad to eat. Wait, Ooh. wait, what? What? Say what now? You're too sad to eat. I'm so miserable. I can't eat this hot dog. Wait until you can eat again. Are you actually having a laugh? What on earth? I mean, people eat to make to make themselves feel better. That doesn't make any sense. In fact, when people are sad, they often eat more. Oh, man. Hey, finally. Right, you can go back to work. Right, now I've got to work this out. Uh, go back and work at Greasy Meat. Go back and work at Greasy Meat. Uh, I hate this bit. This is the painful bit. Right, schedule. Let's bring up my photographs. Um, let's see. So, Monday. We had... That, and then that. That was Monday. Tuesday, we had the same thing. Wednesday, we have that. Thursday, we have him doing the last bit until 1700. 
Oops, then. But honestly, copy paste with my high up my list of required features. Uh, this one goes to four though this time, and then uh, uh, like that. Then Saturday, easy enough. Sunday, easy enough. 29, 29, looks good. Hopefully they've gone into work now. Wait, where's my snack? Give me my hot dog. I'm going playing games and eating hot dogs. That's what I'm doing. Right, how many minutes? Right, five minutes of computer games. Still can't, still can't eat. Right, let's play for an hour. Let's play some Diablo for an hour. I'm absolutely starving, but I'm playing video games. And now, I still can't eat. Play for another hour. Just to grill soon runs out of burger. Well, they should have a delivery in the morning. Eight boxes. Can I eat yet? Hey, I can eat. Life is good. Right, let's sleep. Ten hours, there you go. You received a new message from NY Distro. You know what that's gonna be. You didn't have enough money. That's what that's gonna be. Told you. We couldn't store all the hot oh hang on. We couldn't store all the hot dog boxes. Please make sure we have available storage shelves for next delivery. We couldn't store all the paper bags. We couldn't store all the soda cans. Flipping heck, I didn't think that... Okay. So they've still charged us $400, and instead of just leaving it on the floor, they've taken it all back. So now I've got to go and get the stuff anyway. And I've paid $400 for the privilege. It's absolute genius. Four hundred dollars greasy meat. Did yes, this is this is really bad profit. Really bad profit. Um, inventory, stock count. Hmm. It was a rip off. We've hardly got any money left. not making the profit. Yeah, so business is going pretty well. However, can we borrow a bit more money? <laughs> Another two grand. This time next week, we'll be millionaires. I didn't really sleep in the. I just rested for an hour. What's he doing? Hunger is fine. Happiness is 0%. Slept in the car. I, hang on a minute. 
I literally stayed in the car for an hour. He'd already slept. He had enough energy. He just passed the time for an hour. And now he gets a 20 hour debuff. That is just ridiculous. Honestly, that's dumb. Literally playing video games all day. Let everybody else do the work. There you go. Five hours straight gaming session. Let's go. I want you to level a warlock to level 20. Let's go. Twenty percent. Woo. Positive revenue plus 20%. <laughs> he made money so he feels a bit happier. That's nice. Come on, today's game day. Level 30. Oh yeah, I do need to do that, don't I, Peg Tech? Wait a minute, did they even deliver expensive gifts? <gasps> Oh, it's night time as well. No. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, profits back up. It'll be up even more when we start selling expensive stuff. Right, no more sleeping in cars. Because apparently that makes you very sad for 20 hours. Whoa. I wonder if they got delivered. It did indeed. They did indeed. Why right, expensive gifts, there we go. Sold the flowers back. Cheap gift, cheap gift, paper bag. Right, set the price. What are we thinking? No, nope, don't want that, want that. Expensive gifts retail for 32 normally. 33.99? We have an alert for this. Why have we got an alert? The drinks fridge is out of soda. Okay. Zero stock of soda. We need to get some more hot dogs. sold 1200 burgers in the last seven days and we only had 500 in stock that's not good we need another shelf in here as well what's wrong with nut slammer oh the wrong game that's an api problem we need to buy another storage shelf we need more burgers, because we're clearly selling a lot of them. We've not quite got enough for the week of hot dogs, and we don't have any soda. Okay. Let's go and get some more storage shelves. Yeah, we seem to have a few paper bags.
profit margin is a little better anyway. That guy looked like he was going straight on then turned. Right, down to the wholesaler. Which is down here. I don't think I did get a delivery of a thousand paper bags though, did I? We got one box of a thousand, so... I think we'll get none. Right, let's try and predict how many to get. So, we've got uh, f about 500, we're selling 1,200. The next delivery's on Friday, so we're almost a full week away. So we need at least 1,000 burgers between now and then, so... Hot dogs is not desperate. Like another box, maybe. But I think this, we're gonna have to get like five boxes, maybe six. And then a hot dog. Do we need paper bags? <laughs> Where's the soda? 50 pieces of soda. That's not enough soda. Um, 111 sold. We just got a hundred. Wait, why is there only 60 in a box of soda? But then when you buy it from the shelf here... Oh, it is only 60. Yeah, I think we need more soda as well. I think $400 delivery is ridiculous. Uh, Tech Vortex, thank you for 56. Yeah, I think so as well. I think we just need a lot more soda. So I think I'll just order more.
Yikes. We're running out of stock here. Not good. Rumble. Thank you for all nine months. This game brand new. It's fairly new. It's not got that one. Do you think he'll restock that soldier himself? I don't think I did, Wendy. Hang on. Avert this crisis. Yes, he did. He stopped. Phew. Uh, yes, that was my bad. So I think I missed a couple. Um, I missed L. Phillips 67 months. I have big ambitions for this stream. I missed that. I also missed Kins Scythe with two months. That pass was clean. Lol. And Wendy with 17, keep up the good work, Paul and Mods. Yeah, I missed those out, Wendy. My apologies. Thank you. I'm not seeing anybody in here. That's worrying me. That is worrying me. What's going on? Why do we have no customers? Yeah, the trouble with the van thing, though, is, like, having to do all the running around yourself. You're going to pick up damage on the streets as well. And a car cost me $600 on about 70% damage. A van would cost even more. You could be looking at, like, a grand to repair it. At which point, you may as well have had a delivery and not had all the damage. I suppose it depends how safe you drive. Yeah, the advert expired. Good evening, Paul and chat. Just back from a steam rally. I was driving a 1907 Marshall traction engine. What? No one asked? Well, tough. I told you. What's this game? Looks perfect for shenanigans. It's not, Chris, because it doesn't have any steam in it. It's rubbish. You'd hate it. Why are we not selling any expensive gifts? Do we need to sell them cheaply? We haven't sold a single one. That is very disappointing. I'm going to give him a call. You've reached us outside of business hours. Half past four? So what if it's a Saturday? Nah, it's been a couple of days like that. I don't think it... Um, I think it should have, should have sold something by now. Oh, I'm reading chat. That's on you. It's your fault that I'm reading chat, okay? Just for that, I'm just going to go and get myself a pizza. And make myself feel better. I want to go here. I want a pizza and a soda and some fries. Oh, they just what? I swear, man. I run, I go in. There's nobody there. I go to the till. I click my order, and then it says, "Get to the back of the queue." There's eight people before you. It is an absolute joke every time. Do you know what? You can stuff your pizza and call it stuffed crust. I didn't want a pizza anyway. Where are we? Should be able to make our own pizza. 
What's my persona on? 45% happiness. Plays video games into the night. Feels better. Greasy meat is out of soda. What a surprise. Hey, kid, you gotta come see my new villa in Marbella. We'll drink some sangrias together someday. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm glad to see you figured out how to increase your profit. Our next move is all about cutting out the middleman, the wholesaler. We gotta start importing our products ourselves. I think it's Marbella, not Marbella. But whatever. How did we just make so much money? How did we shift? Whoa! 1,400 burgers? <laughs> what? How did we shift 1,400 burgers? We've got to stock up on soda. We sold... Oh, oh we actually sold some expensive gifts. I think that's where the money just came from. That'll make a big difference. 69, I think that's probably in one day. At that rate, we'll be needing a lot of gifts. We need to watch that. We might have to um, bring some more over tomorrow. In fact, maybe we should just do a quick run of expensive gifts to the shop and soda. A glove. Wait, what? Are they open on a Sunday? Yeah, we've got to cut out the middleman. That's what we need to do. Time to the open. 8 a.m. I refuse to sleep. I will sit in my car and not move, but I will not be sleeping. Soda can. Then we want expensive gifts, a thousand each. Oh, if we're going to shift them. I kind of wish you could go first person, though. Tell you what we do need to do. Put a nice floor down in the other place. We never did a floor. Probably should get some more tables as well. Thousand four dollars for two hundred gifts. Five per five dollars per sold at thirty. 
Yeah, it's a nice little markup. It will be interesting to see what the markup is like when um, when we go via when we import stuff directly. You're closed, aren't you? Scumbag. Scumbags. Unlike us, we're open seven days. Cater to our customers' needs. And plants, yeah. Make it look real nice. I'm going to go get the trolley. No. That should keep them going for a little bit. Okay. Uh, what's the price of the game on Steam? Have a look on Steam. I don't know. Um... Rent a small office building. Open a headquarters in your new office building. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get the floor done yet. What day is it? Sunday. It cost like, what was it, two grand or something? $2,800. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh -huh. But now it looks contemporary. Uh -huh. Just bear in mind it's early access version 0.2, so it's not a anywhere near a finished game. Right, rent a small office building. Let's have a look. Small office building. That's not small. What about there? So is that one? That's um, not small, is it? What, what is it called? Small. That one. Available for rent. Does it matter if it's got traffic? Daily rent, $10. That's quite cheap. I don't know if there's any requirement for customer capacity or traffic for this building. It's not giving me any clue. I know that that's not small. That's 91 a day. We could afford that. <laughs> 466? Wait, what? For that thing? This 
chonga thing over here? 284 square meters? I swear, man. Why is that worth, like, way more than that one? Surely that's the wrong way around. Yeah, there's some dodgy ones back here. 51. That's too much. Seventy-one. I think I like this one. Is it that one? Wait, what? I don't think that's clicking properly. I'm sure it was that. Office. It's that. Look, twelve dollars a day. That'll do. Traffic doesn't matter for HQ. The only thing to consider. Is having it near your other buildings to reduce your travel time. Yeah, I think it is. We'll get that. Twelve dollars. Sounds good to me. Open a headquarters. I think it's bugged out because it's put that icon on this building when actually it's this building. Star new business. Right, headquarters. Select. Name of your headquarters. Hey, what? Um, mm. I guess this is like the management company. Yeah, no, nah, it needs to be something really a bit dodgy. I think $12 a day is pretty cheap for office space. Has to include LLC. Hmm. Leonard, thank you for 113 months. Timmy Boy, thank you for 102. Scumbag Solutions. Yeah, Solutions isn't the right word. That sounds like an IT company. Maybe it should have, like... Maybe it should sound like it's trustworthy. You know what I mean? Like, really, really trustworthy. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's not many letters. Um... I like, I like the swindle aspect. Why is it LLC and not Inc? Uh, swindled... No, swindled for you, Inc. <laughs> yeah, I know what LLC stands for, but why is it LLC and not Inc? I thought it was always Inc. Incorporated versus limited liability company. No, you can't, you can't deliberately say you, that you're a crook. You've got to give the illusion that you're, that you're definitely trustworthy. Limited trust. <laughs> you could do like, <laughs> limited trust limited <laughs> or how about ink ink <laughs> trust me bro <laughs> um Trust in us, Inc. Oh, how about, um... No, no, not that. How about have faith? Max trust. Uh, I don't know. It's just not working, is it? By and large.
Ask no questions, think. <laughs> Don't ask any questions, we'll tell you no lies. Super, super cheap. <laughs> I don't know. We need to pick something, guys. Um, dodgiest. <laughs> dodgiest deals. LLC. Well, uh. Oh, we're not an investing company, are we? How about this then? I like I like the swindle aspect. Swindle and go. <laughs> swindle and run. Ink. LC. Whatever it is. Swindle and run. Because <laughs> that's basically what we're gonna do. <laughs> Let's go with that. Alright, what are we gonna do now? Swindle and run, ink. LLC, whatever it is. Profit zero. That's not good. Um, hire a purchasing agent. Oh my god. Buy a computer, a desk, a chair from Mr. Scott's office supplies. Place the desk in your headquarters. Attach the computer and the chair to the desk. Assign the purchasing agent to the workstation. Oh my life. That's admin. Congratulations on your new headquarters. This is where the top employees of your organization will be seated. But first, we have to start hiring. We need a purchasing agent to help us secure some import contracts. Well, we can't hire anybody on a Sunday because nobody's open on a Sunday. So I think we're going to have to just go down to the... Get some more groceries or something. Uh, what does it call them? Not fast food. I thought the hiring agency would be closed on a Sunday, Baz. That was my assumption. Improvement call. See? They're closed. I think the fridge is getting a bit low, so I was thinking just quickly grabbing some meals from the shop. Got 10 mils left. Uh, 1540. Hmm. I guess we'll just play video games. Get his happiness bar up. What time is it? Yeah, I'll do. You just remembered legitimate businessman social club. Unfortunately, that would have been too long, Gimp. Too many characters.
Okay, he's 95% happy now. Got all kinds of buffs going. What time do they open down at the um, recruiting place? It's not going to tell me. Ninety one repairs. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Swindle and run would like cleaning. What? What? You need to go to city workforce. Oh, it's a different agency. Oh my god. What's all that about? Is that because we're hiring execs now or something? You need to go to the more elite recruitment agency now. Get your car fixed. Whoa! What's your madman? Look, I'm on ninety four percent already. They're all crazy up here. Should have got a taxi. I wonder how much the car park's going to be around here. Like twenty-five dollars. Eight. That's all right. Oh, look at you, posh offices. Right then. What are we looking for? We're looking for swindler run, and we're looking for a purchasing agent. That's what we wanted. We only need one person, but we'd like two CVs. We're not in a particular rush. Maybe a couple of days. Are we really that hard off for $200? I don't think we are. Actually, hmm. Nah. We've got the money. I didn't even say a word. Let's go and go buy some equipment. Can we buy a Porsche? That would be really cool. Uh, what do you want? You want a computer? I guess we've got to go down to Ikea. Computer, desk, and a chair. So we'll just go to Ikea. also need to buy office supplies no ikea mr scott's office supplies where's mr scott's office supplies we're not allowed to use ikea it's not showing me on the map
69 dollars look at them all trying to break my car Okay. Is this the posh office supplies that you can't get around? Tw 2200 for an executive desk. What? What? How can that large meeting table be half the price of that desk? Like, come on. Waiting room chairs are like that. Cabinet with drawers. A cheap coffee machine. There's not a lot of choice in here, if I'm honest. Standard office desk. We can just get this, can't we? We can get a computer, a desk, a multi-purpose chair for 1200 What was that chair? A stump mesh office chair. 2200 Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Can I have your chair? What are you sitting on? Office chair. Alright, let's we'll get one of them. We're not super rich yet. How much is that? 400 for a coffee machine. Don't know how much the cabinet costs. I don't think they're selling cabinets. Anything else we want? What a bin. You can't have a bin. And a cabinet. Make yourself look important. Wait, where's the cabinet? Oh, you can't. Wait. Oh, we can't add more than four. You see that guy literally jumped the queue in front of me. I saw that. He was behind me, I placed my order, and he jumped in front of me. I'm sick of being ripped off in this game. Like, the amount of queue jumping that goes on. Oh, do you know what? We could pick up a... A small cabinet. And we'll have... Tall. Yeah, we'll have one of them. I think we'll have one of them. No, we'll have three of them. One for each shop and also one for the HQ. All right. That's enough shopping. Reserve our spot. Right, where are we? Um, we can go here first. all the traffic go there it is okay right we'll grab the uh, one of the plants oh, I feel like I should have got two now one for each side would look nice. <clears throat> oh well. 
It'll still add to the uh, ambience of the room. Okay, we can go down to the office. I really hope in later versions of the game they don't start fining you for going through on a red light because that would that would make me cry. Okay. Uh, can we get a wait what? Where's the office? Where's the office that we rented? Okay. Why can't I enter? Available for rent. What is going on? That is the one I rented, Bez. I really owned. Rent building. Wait, what? I literally rented this already. It was... I thought it was that one. Which one did it rent then? I swore it was... Well, that's not it, because it says that's a... Owned by Crevis, web development agency, Yoko Tech. That's nothing to do with us. Oh, it was that one there. That's what it was. It was that one. It's the one next to it. It's it's bugged out with this icon. What is this traffic? There's nowhere to park. What is this madness? Right, um, desk, chair, computer, plant. where she wants to work. Let's say, um... We'll sort of go like that. Computer. You received a message from the city of New York. What? I can't... well, I can put it there.
Have you been fined? <laughs> what? A hundred and twenty-five dollars? Oh my god, I was literally dropping some stuff off? That is unbelievable. None of this pay early, get half price. They're just straight in though with $125. Just for putting my car there. What a joke. What a joke. Um, where's my... I need to go here. I can't believe that. One hundred and twenty five dollars. following the wrong sign because that one's still up for some reason. Read a game? It's to sort some hitboxes out. Right, let's put this up. Make it look a lot nicer. Like that. Okay. I think we can... What time is it? Yeah, we can go back to um, sleep and wait for the candidates to come through. How's our business doing? Inventory stock is good. 1300. What is it? Monday... End of Monday, so we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we've got four more days. That's 200 a day, that's only enough for two days, that's not enough burgers. They do not have enough burgers. They are flying off the shelves right now. Hot dog sales are well down. I'll have to bring, it's probably Joe's hot dogs causing problems. They're doing pretty well, 245. Nowhere near enough soda. Basically, we need more soda and we need more burgers. They've come down quite a bit, I think. I wonder if the marketing campaign was doing that. Actually, did we do a marketing campaign? Shave that back a little bit. Yeah, we have to do a burger run. Burger and soda. I don't think I did do a marketing campaign. Um, who was the marketing company? Can I call them and ask them for a refund? Scumbags. E-marketing. Of course you're closed. Of course you are. Now nah, McCain's make fries, don't they? Yeah, we could get a truck for 6k.
CVs are coming. Let me try McCain's marketing. I would like a small campaign for them, please. CV Adele France seventeen dollars. That's quite a low rate. Purchase agent thirty six percent. Not exactly great. Thirty to fifty hours per week. That's not bad. I think we'll sit on that and wait for the other call. It's quite a low rate, but not particularly great experience. one but I went for two so I'm waiting for the second one but we only need to hire one of them Chaos that port. It's such a selfish Porsche driver, look. Look, he's like the big I am. It's blocking everybody. Taxis don't know where to go, like, wow. Just wow, dude. There's another Joe's hot dogs. Didn't know they were immune. No, 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 no. Probably decorate this place. Why did we only make 2,000 profit? We made 3,000 the day before. That's a bit rubbish. Interior wall should be... An 
Ninety dollars, that is not cheap. I ain't paying that. Oh yeah, that's that's nice and but corporate blue. There you go. Now you look at that. Now you're talking. I need a white to go with it, really. Ooh, two tone. What's all that about? Ooh, classy. Very classy. Look at that. <laughs> 570, we'll take it. Too much? Too much black, maybe a bit of a gray instead. Possibly a lighter grey. No, not that. That kind of blue probably going to work, isn't it? There you go. Wait, what? That's what we're looking for. That That's the look. You know, our office is not an Everton Mint. When's the second candidate coming through? Excuse me, would you like to get off the uh, pedestrian crossing? Thank you. Just waiting for this second phone call. Hire cleaners. I probably should hire cleaners. But there's games to play, you know. Let's see, one hour, one and a half hours. I'm hoping that's enough to get a phone call. There we go. Right, what's the second one? Morgan Engel, age 56, female, purchase agent 25%, really bad at it. 30 to 50, wants a lower wage. I think we're going to have to go with Adele because, yeah, Morgan's a bit meh. Uh, let's go employees. Adele. You can dress in tat. And let's have a look at your schedule. 30 to 50 hours, you say. Well, that's got to be just a Monday to Friday thing, right? I think you can work a bit longer than that, though. <coughs> Opening hours cannot be changed for headquarters. What? Wow. Okay. Well, I guess you're just doing 40 hours a week, then. That's it. There is nothing to change. No contract. Uh, swindle. <laughs> Hang on. We want... There you go. Swindle and run. Ah, progress. Your first operational employee working from your brand new headquarters. Starting to sound pretty fancy, huh? Now, we need to get your purchasing agent working. But first, we need a place to store all your imported products. Yeah. And on that bombshell... We're going to have to leave it there, guys. I'll be back tomorrow, I think. I've overrun a little bit, but I think it was worth it just to get that done. So tomorrow, when we carry on tomorrow, we'll try this warehouse thing. I kind of feel like we're not making enough profit yet, but maybe that'll change when we start importing our own stuff. Maybe we can get the prices down a bit. 
anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Had some fun. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for all the resubs. Must here, thank you for 18 months, by the way. Anchor Smile, thank you for 29. And uh, Timmy Boy, I don't know if I said thank you for 102, but thank you. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, normal time tomorrow, I think, I believe. There's no F1 tomorrow, is there? No. Yeah, normal time. So I shall hopefully see you then. If not, have a great rest of your Sunday. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. Take care, guys. Love you all. Good night.